it's that time jeremy we are live coming to you live from anywhere on the planet 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 is there an echo in here happy planet. sunday fun day everyone welcome back to our weekly live stream where did we get go, to hang out with did you, you go live. live to facebook this time because they're saying last time you didn't but um, if you're on facebook just jump over to youtube find what the hail is technical it's that glitch. easy technical glitch if it didn't show up on facebook happy sunday fun day welcome everyone to our weekly live stream where we get to hang out with you did you get if a haircut you... not yet huh it's coming though Something where we get to hang out different. with you read your comments in the live chat if you are tuning in live at 8 p.m eastern standard something's very different you're sure you didn't get a haircut my hair is still did wet. you get tinsel highlights my hair is still wet from earlier huh oh you went swimming okay mm. i got you take it away jeremy all right that was an awkward pause <laughs> never good on a live stream what am i supposed to be taking away jeremy usually likes to start the live off with a song a b c that is not your song for tonight e, F, that is not his song H I it's not J even April Fools. <laughs> I don't know what should I sing about. The planet moved into a town with no one around, all to get away from the snow. Put in a two-inch line and everything was fine until they tried to steal all my dough. Was in town hall couldn't do math at all you know who else can't do math me We've... me okay all right your math is is well, unmathed I, I but you know whose math is methed up who's we found out this week crooks oh. couldn't do math at all Ooh. just kept following the law sending Thank emails to worm name. hoping he confirmed that no one would know Love all their flaws by net and john they're running their con trying to get any money they can Everything around them dies, and then she fake cries. They'll end up by a river in a van. Thanks, Selma. Now there's signs all over town, but now they're taken down, and everybody knows who done it. Don't do the crime if you can't do the time. You're living in a shed with no permit. Now Russ is texting Don, telling him it's on. Let's give the world a show. We always wanted fame, and now they know our names. In the meetings, always vote no. Now they're all making threats. The fans are taking bets. Who's going to be the first in jail? Mary, Russ, or Don, Lynette, and John. That's my bet. What's yours? I'm going to put 500 on Lynette and John. Okay. You want double or nothing? Double or nothing. We just know it won't be what the hell's. We just know it won't be what the hell's. <laughs> we moved into Thanks, a town Sonia. with no one around. Thank All to get away Jenny. from the snow. Put in a two hey, inch Sandra. line. Everything was fine. <laughs> until they tried to steal all my dough. Thank you, Claire. Give it up for Jeremy. Wow. Woo. Wow. Wow. I felt inspired. You Thank know, you, I Bob. do. I, I do have to write a different a Thanks, different Otter Creek song eventually. Yeah. You know what I I really Thank need you, to write? Jeanette. I need to I need to write a song about the most famous lawyer in the planet. On the planet. Mark Feather. <laughs> your co-counsel, Mark Feather. It should be called your co-counsel, or would you call it? Hmm. I'd call it MFR. <laughs> that's what that's what I would call it. Thank Mark you, Alicia. Feather! <laughs> How dare you? Mark I'll, I'll, no, Feather. you know what I'll call it? It's going to be a 15 Thanks, minute long song. It's going to be called <laughs> Best 15 Minutes Ever. Best 15 Minutes of Your Life. Thanks, Ian. Thanks, Aaron. Thanks, Mo. I, I, I have to admit that I actually already started to write a Mark Feather song. So. Okay, where are you at with that? Well... In the works. It's in the, still works. in the works. Still up here. To get it from here to here is is a whole process. Mm. It, it, inspiration hits at different times, and it could be the middle of the night. I mean, there was the Florida Man song. Thank you, Debbie. 
when I was doing the Florida Man song, I was doing that all through the night. I could not sleep. <laughs> I asked her. She was sleeping. She's like, would you stop? I'm like, no, I'm I inspired. I don't remember ever having that conversation. Oh, you don't? Thank you, Wyatt. Do you remember when somebody sent me Thanks, this shirt? Jen. Remember yes, that? I do. Remember that? Man, that is tight around the gun. Do you see the stack of? Really, do you see the stack of t-shirts right there? Yeah, I do. That is really from last week. It's tight so. around the guns right there. Oh man, <clears throat> gotta stretch it out. Stretchy, <laughs> stretchy stretch. There we go. All right, just do the right thing, people. That's all you got to do. That's all, That's you, all gotta you gotta do. do. And you know what happens if you do the right thing? You don't find yourself in court. You don't have a threat of going to jail. Thank you, Candy. Um, all of those things never happen. You know, you actually have peace in your life unless other people start with chaos in your life. Mm. And we've seen this week. We've seen the aspect of court. Thank you, Claire. From Ohio. What a difference court from Ohio to Florida. When I mean when you when you take into consideration the Ohio judge versus the Florida judge, yeah. the Ohio judge is is what she's called to do. Be a referee, keep it simple, keep it, be stern, straight to the point. She doesn't lecture you as if you're in a classroom. She's fair way. on both sides. She yeah. calls me out. She calls me out multiple times. Now, Thank she's you, constantly Tammy. calling Lynette out because Lynette can, that's Interrupts. all she does. Is interrupts, lies, manipulates, deceives, and the list goes on and on. She's called me out and constantly lie net, but I only get out of line a little bit. And that's what a judge is there to do, to actually listen to the actual evidence. Thank you, Joe. Thanks. Anybody want to know Mitch. who E. Bailey is yet? I mean, I think the world wants to know, who is E. Bailey? That didn't identify themselves. And like a coward, clicked right out and went, no way, I will not identify myself. And uh, was out of there in an instant and a heartbeat. Well, if you if you watch those videos this week, she did say that it was for emotional support. Um, because you, nobody would testify because they're... Thank you, Matt. They are scared to death of him. Or it could just be, she's guilty. It could be that. You know, it's it's like, Thank it's you, like Marli Huge who's never met Lynette in person, who started another GoFundMe and then it's gone. You, and then she claims, ABC. no, I never started a GoFundMe. And the, you know what? The, the thing is, is everybody has the receipts. The funny thing is everybody has the receipts. Everyone. Okay. Well, Everyone, ha by the way, this is gone now. It was now. nothing but defamation. Help M. Preston, libel. Jake Cook, Thank you, fight stalking. No, in other words, what it would be is help uh, L. Preston and Jake Cook Thanks, with Melanie. funds that will end up going to who? Oh, yes, that would be to Jeremy Hales once they are found guilty. Organize Marley Hughes. Isn't that interesting? We have receipts. Thank you, Lee. Isn't it interesting you, that we Lee. have receipts on absolutely everything? Oh, by the way, yes, we are well aware, we are very much so well aware that uh, she continues to post uh, her cash app. We are well aware that she has posted her Venmo, her PayPal, and all of that, all of that is tied to the 501c3. And we are well aware that it is legal for her to take funds to use for court into those venues that are supposed to be for a 501c. You cannot mix funds. Mm -hmm. I mean, if... We haven't learned that yet within the town hall of Otter Creek yet. You cannot mix funds. It's Thank illegal. You, we know she's doing it. We know that's going to affect all, any any money that's given to her is going to affect her disability. And our lawyer, our legal team is all on it. Okay, reporting her for all Thanks, of these Julie. things. As a matter of fact, she had she had meetings this past week as well with Levy County, um, and we're not even going to dig into all of that. But Levy County planning and um, so. She's had those meetings because of our legal team and moving forward uh, in Dan. those directions as well. And we will continue to move forward. Mayor Dan, I'm so sorry I, I couldn't meet up with you when I, I was home, but I promise we will again soon. And so, and I did show George the picture of Georgie. So, uh, or, yeah. 
And she, so she's that, a cutie. that was fun. She was a, she's, a she's a cutie, no doubt about it. She is a cute E. George E is a cute E. Cute E. It's a great name, by the way. So we're well aware she's illegally soliciting funds and not utilizing them for the 501c3, which is illegal. She will lose her 501c3 status. There's no doubt whatsoever. She will lose her disability. There's no doubt whatsoever. Thank you, CBC. Again, my opinion, there's no doubt whatsoever. It's so blatant how she continues to break the law again and again and again and again. But remember, this is what she wanted. You have to remember, this is everything she wanted. She wanted court. She wanted to mimic Thanks and mirror and to copy everything that we were doing. She wanted to disregard the cease and desist. She wanted to break and violate the civil protection orders. She wanted all of this. And now to be out there posting saying, yes, we're in court in three, three different courts. Three different courts is the start of it. Do you realize there are so many other individuals that can file a lawsuit against them? And there are those who are ready and willing and in waiting to do such. Three is minimal for what's coming down the pipeline. Mm. I mean, we've got the biological family. We've got the stepdaughters. We've got the actual biological daughters. We've got other people she's defamed. I mean, think about this. She has Thanks, defamed Roy. and attacked Mark Feather's personal practice and now his name could be tainted forever because she lied about him and said that he tried to bribe her. Thank you, Bob. And so, so many people want to know, is Mark Feather going to bring lawsuit against Lynette for defamation as well? And I don't think we're in a position where we can actually answer that, are we? Mm -mm. Uh, no. um, the only thing that we can answer is that she has made him a witness. And now she's made Silver Scam a witness. Mm -hmm foregoed her attorney-client privilege, stated that Silverman told her to be there and she could be there, and now there's no more attorney-client privilege. Silver Scam will be on the stand in court testifying. So she either lied or he... We're, I can't wait to find out. I'm sure you can't wait either. She either lied through Silver Scam under the bus or he actually told her to be there to get her in trouble and get away from her on purpose. Those are the only two options. Like They're, intentionally giving bad counsel. Yeah, so no that, lawyer, no so matter that he how can bad you are. be fired. No lawyer, no matter how bad you are, is going to give counsel to say, yeah, go incriminate yourself. Go get arrested. No lawyer is going to do that. Mm. Not, 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 no way. No way. No way at all. Thank Those you, are the Rose. only two options in all reality. So we've gotten to see, we did a little bit of flashing back into Ohio because all of this started in Ohio first. And I think there are people that are confused going, wait, is Thanks, this Ohio Tim. violation of the civil protection orders that we showed this week? And no, this is the actual civil protection orders that we filed for before we came to Florida. Then we got to Florida. Then she stalked us to the sheriff's station. Then we had court in Florida. And then what you're going to see this week is they actually have contempt of court hearings from January Thanks, 10th. Don. And it's going to blow your mind. Wait, wait until you see tomorrow's video of the way she behaves and what she demands of the judge in Ohio. Well, a lot of a lot of you have been following the story closely and have heard her say multiple times that we got a permanent civil stalking protection order against her and John fraudulently. Fraudulently. So we're I'm we're, shocked she we're can even say the, the word fraudulently. Where both her and Crook admitted, yes, they're they're aware of the evidence that we're showing, and yes, they did post that. Crook in court constantly constantly incriminating himself. I mean, it's it's the most crazy thing I'm sure many of you have ever seen. His Your line, Honor! That didn't happen, Ohio. That didn't that happen. in Florida. That, I did that in Florida. It doesn't matter. I did that in Florida, not Ohio. Therefore, I object. How <laughs> dumb. How dumb can you be? Yes. Megan says everything is fraudulent with her. It's fraudulent. So... They both, they both recognized the evidence that we provided to the courts, and they both identified the evidence and, and said, yes, I did that. It's amazing that there are people just but as it's dumb as them giving them counsel and further incriminating themselves. And if you're going, what, who would that be? Well, I'm sure you could figure it out if you... Um, the ones that they threw under the bus. Yeah, all the ones. So you've seen Marla, 
Hughes, Thank you, Michelle. who is a resident of Bronson and a horrible <laughs> individual and human being that nobody, she probably doesn't even like herself. I mean, she gets kicked out of every group on Facebook. That's all she does. Honestly, I don't even know if she can get out of the house because all she does is spend it, her days on Facebook. Thanks, Lorna. It makes you wonder, so, like, is she playing a game with them? Oh, I'm going to help you, but I'm going to give you bad but advice. I'm going to further incriminate you. Yes. So you've got Marla Hughes has been thrown under the bus. You've got another YouTuber who has no significance whatsoever. Thanks, Miguel. Who tried to gain significance on YouTube by using our name who they thrown under the bus that person john under the bus. john um both john and lynette threw marla under no, i'm the talking bus. about hurting harding hurting harding john um facebook group that john crook gave oh, to so john admitted yeah i started that group, I started but i gave that. it to my friend months I, later I started that. Chris, Chris, friend. Chris Harding, that or Holder, Holder, Chris Holder. There's, oh, I'm not gonna tell you his last name, otherwise. George, do you know how long we've been live? Fifteen minutes. Fifteen minutes. You know what that means? Teresa, thank you. You know what that means? Thank Hold you, a second. I, I know what that means. What does it mean? I know what that means. That means lucky number fifteen. That means we lucky need another chair. 15. You need to scoot it. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna scoot and over. And we need. We need. Mark Feather! <laughs> we need 15 minutes with Mark Feather. Oh my goodness, look at this. George, scoot right. back in. Give it up for Mark. The world, I mean, planets. The planet's <laughs> most famous lawyer. Scoot back in, George, you're A off the screen. A lot of people, they notice the dog. Oh, yeah, they notice seven. the dog right seven. away. That's seven They're like, feather. Who's the dog? Oh. You thought she you thought Mark Come would actually hi. have a bird as a pet, didn't you? Come say yeah. Hi. I There's should, seven should, right yeah, there. Feather, feather, what right. kind of what kind of uh dog is seven? So seven She's is beautiful. half lab and half bulldog. Aww. Beautiful very loyal and a good pretty. swimmer. And smart. She's she's beautiful and protective. Meet seven yeah. feather. Yeah. That was seven feather, but this is On Mark Feather! Thank you, Judy. George, scoot in. You're off screen still. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. I thought I'd give my side up to Mark Feather. Give him 15 minutes. Or, maybe. yeah, well, definitely 15 <laughs> minutes. But, um, you know. Thank you, Sarah. You can still scoot in. Don't worry. He doesn't bite. Okay. I've been in court with him. Yeah. The Thomas tries you. to bite a little bit. Thank you, Daniel. Mark Feather, how does it feel to be the world's. Thanks, sorry, sorry. The planet's. The planet's most famous lawyer. Well, it is humbling. Uh, and I'm a little confused by what, the two different screens you have. Uh, Don't worry about the screens. Here. All you need to look at, that's the camera <laughs> okay, right there. This is how this works. That's the microphone. All right. Camera. All right. Mic so when you talk, you're talking to everybody there. All right. And then so the it's microphone a humbling it experience. I, uh, I could tell you, Jeremy nor I expected it even a little bit. We thought there was going to be peace. We wanted to bring peace in, in, in this is what happened. So... Uh, but that happens in this world, doesn't it, Jeremy? It does. It does. The world has some issues, and uh, a couple of them are named Lynette and uh, Crook. And I, mean, I would go as far as to say Judge DeThomasis as well. But mm -hmm. that's just me sharing, sharing my feelings and thoughts. Mm -hmm. what, uh, what did you tell – I know you shared with us over the phone last week, but what did you tell me when we were in your office, we were talking about legal representation? What did you tell me? Do you remember? I think you're talking about uh, you trying to hire me or talking to me about hiring me about, for an injunction hearing. Yep. And I told you that oftentimes those were handled without lawyers. And this one looked to me to be pretty straightforward. And I wasn't sure that you needed an attorney. I thought you could just go in there and and explain uh, or tell your side of the story, tell her side of the story, and truth would be, prevail and it would be done in short order. Um, 15 and, minutes? 15 done minutes, in 15 right? minutes? I mean... <laughs> Yeah, typically typical cases like that <laughs> historically with your experience cases like that typically take 15 minutes correct they can range but 15 is not an unusual num number for a domestic violence case but Thomas is, 30 minutes you know the yeah. thomas's can do sometimes more than 10 in an hour in i've heard that so six minutes so yeah. i mean you're not as good as the thomas's and i uh, but thank you, you Grandma based Diane. on the thomas's i think you're better I think you should run for judge. Hmm. I'm not the first to say that to you, am I? <laughs> I am not the first to say that to you. You are not the first to say that yeah. to me, Jeremy. Okay. All right. All right. So we are blessed to have a number of wonderful judges, even yes. in our area. In, yes. In fact, in our area, we've got some phenomenal judges. We really do. Yeah. Uh, and I'm really grateful for them. Justice as is administered uh, 
with frequency in the Eighth Judicial Circuit. Yes, yes. And so uh, we just, somehow we just happened into this. Um, do you think it was God's prompting that put us all into this all together? Or what is, what's your thought and process? Well, let me tell you. Uh, I have said that this is we got uh, it, this is supernatural. Thanks, Tricky G. There's no other explanation for it. I mean, I get, I couldn't see it coming. I still don't see where it ends. Uh, it has been uh, beyond um, incredible. Uh, just supernatural is what I call it. An injunction. Okay, I, I got to ask, based on all of your years of, of experience and practice, this is a simple injunction. Between Ohio and Florida, I am already over $125,000 into this process. Now, $7,500 went to you. You know that. I know that. Thanks, um, Debbie. Have you ever seen an injunction cost someone, with no end in sight, $125,000? <laughs> I can tell you, I've never, heard, I've never heard of an injunction case costing $125,000. And that's, that's, it's more than that. I just don't have a current bill. And I have more expenses flying back and travel and a lot of, lot that I, I'm just rounding. I'm actually rounding down from the current expense, expenses. Is that not mind blowing? Like, that's mind blowing. It's, 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 uh, it's very sad statement, actually. It's yeah. horrible. It, uh, it, and it, 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 deters us from being able to do more things for the community and more things for people and frankly more things for ministry that we want Thanks, to Dad. be doing and so we Understood. can't so yeah. not only has Lynette and Crook uh, put fear in our lives they stalked us and 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 they're extorting us we won't give them money or we won't give them we won't we won't promote them to our fans and we won't give them free labor and so they do things such as put signs up saying that I'm a child uh, rapist mm -hmm. create so, hate pages create hate pages say horrific vile things but it goes further than that. It actually impacts people beyond us because we can't do the things that we want to do for people. And so that is, it's a horrible thing, in my in my opinion. So. That's how the devil rolls, right? Isn't it? He wants to, uh, he wants to, to uh, kill, steal, and destroy and obstruct. And he doesn't want uh, money going to good things. He wants money going to bad things. So, that's, that's the thing. So uh, keep up the good fight, my friend. We're going to keep fighting. Where do you think this fight ends, in your opinion? You know, I've... Uh, I've thought about it, and I have no idea. Uh, I really don't. I think ultimately um, justice will prevail. Thank you, I David. do maintain faith in our system, um, but I don't know where this ends. I, I am I am really grateful for the things that is brought to light, though. Um, yeah. You know, it's uh, it's uh, it's part of the deal. So you know, I was reading about uh, Romans eight twenty eight on the way over here, and uh, you know. This is going to end up being good. That's my prediction. And if it, you know, I've heard it said, uh, if it's not good yet, it's not over yet. So, yep. Uh, yep. so you know, my prediction is it's going to end favorably. Uh, the good wins in the end. So keep up the good fight. What are some of the things that you've learned through this process? Mm, wow. How's it impacted you? You know, this is, I got to be, I'm going to be so transparent with you. And I think I've already had this conversation with you. My biggest fear is that you, Randy, Doreen, you're like, holy cow, why did I ever agree to take this case on? Uh -huh. Knowing how psychotic you, Lina and Crook are and how insane this issue is. My biggest fear is that you go, man, I wish I never, Jeremy Thanks, Hales Judy. never walked into my office. That's my biggest fear. But Hmm. My I, my question is, what have you learned through this process? Uh, minus, I wish I never met Jeremy Hales. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me assure you that I am grateful Thanks, that Jackie. I met Jeremy Hales. Uh, I'd be honest, I didn't know what a YouTube fan was, but you guys picked the right guy. <laughs> he is a man of character. I am grateful uh, to call him my friend. I got to tell you that the uh, the integrity and the things that he exhibits, uh, I've been watching him. You know, we all come in kind of skeptical. You meet a new person, what's their deal, what are they about? Mm -hmm. But he has proven himself over and over again and done it all with humility. It's it's uh, 
it's real, Jeremy. I think you're a Silver very, Dragon. very special guy. And I am so glad that I said yes. And I'm really, really glad that Randy said yes. Yeah. Because <laughs> I, I would have been sitting there myself. <laughs> I would have been sitting there <laughs> after <laughs> after she said what she said about you. And Making then all of a sudden witness. made you a witness. I'm yeah. like, oh, my goodness. Yes. Wow. And, yeah. yeah. And so I... I honestly, I'm so thankful Thanks, that it's beyond it's beyond a client and an, an attorney relationship. It's literally a friendship now, mm -hmm. and that goes that goes to say with Randy and Doreen as well. So you, Randy, Doreen, you've all all three lawyers have been a part of this team yeah. in this process fighting this injustice, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm thrilled to say that it's beyond just you know, hey, represent me. It's how are you doing? Is everything okay? You mm -hmm. want to go out fishing? Mm -hmm. You know, you you invited me to go fishing multiple times. I haven't been able to go yet, but I want to so bad. We're going. Okay, we Take definitely are going. Fishing. Okay, I do love shark fishing. <laughs> I do love shark fishing. So it it has developed into a friendship for yeah, sure. For and, sure. And you know, I got involved in this thing. I uh, I was a little bit grown when I went back to college. Uh, wasn't really a fan of school, and uh, so I had a child. And uh, that led me going back to school because, you know, you got to set an example. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I finished my undergraduate degree at UF and then didn't know what to do. And I knew I wanted to help people. And so I went to law school because I could uh, finish in three years as opposed to six for one thing. And it was an opportunity to help people. So, you know, what bothers me is, frankly, that I wasn't able to help you that I didn't get this mm -hmm. done for you, man. And I would try it and yeah. I wanted to. And so, uh, but you know, I don't always see the whole picture. Uh, somebody shared with me a long time ago that there's this huge mosaic that comprises life. And I just get to see a little speck, yep. you know, and God sees the whole mosaic. Mm -hmm. And so, so, you know, again, um, it, it's, it's better than I could have imagined, but it doesn't feel like it sometimes when I'm going through it. Yeah. And I know that's yeah. true for you. Yeah, when you when you're when you're in the valley, you know, it's 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 nice and encouraging for me when I'm in the valley, you Randy Doreen, you can say, "Come on, come on up here to the mountaintop. We're going to we're going to get there. Come on up. Come on. Don't worry. It's better up here. We're we're headed this direction. Yeah. It it you're 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 down in this valley, but keep coming up. We're going to get out of this." And yeah. so that encouragement is uh is is priceless in regards to where we're at in this process. Yeah. You know, you know what I was thinking? No. You should start a YouTube channel. Really? Have you seen any of these lawyers <laughs> on, on LawTube and on YouTube? <laughs> yeah, I have. Oh, my we, goodness. We've been joining forces with, who, with LawTube. Who knows more about the What the Hales case than Mark Feather? <laughs> and all these people are covering the, hey. the Jeremy What the Hales case. And really, you know more than anybody else. Well, have you, have you considered it? I have. Really? Yeah. In fact, we've made a, a few preparations. Uh, you have? <laughs> yes. Trying to come up with a name. You think your fans could help me come up with a name? All right. Let's, <laughs> yes, okay, this is Mark Feather. Come up with a name. If he were to start a YouTube channel, what would you guys suggest his YouTube channel? But first, first, Mark's going to have to take notes. Yeah, yeah, He's Mark. Here, take notes. Here's a pad. Here's a pad. Here's a pad of paper. There's a pad of paper okay. and... That's a big pad. And, and, and then a feather pen. Oh, there's course. a feather pen. Oh, Actually, favorite. if you don't like that color, I have different colors you can choose from. <laughs> this one's perfect. <laughs> They're saying 15 <laughs> minutes with blue, feather. Yeah. I do. I if think you have I orange do. and blue, I should 15 that. minutes with Mark Feather, Florida Feather, Seven Feather, I'm seeing. Uh -huh. uh, I'm seeing Feather's uh, okay. Law. Orange will work. Good. Uh, yes, Feather Tube. Fans of Feather. Oh, Finally, wow. Feather. Wow. 15 minutes of Feather. <laughs> Oh. You liking any of these so They're far? They're all so good. It's yes. hard to choose How many from. Can you MFL have, Law. MFL Law. <laughs> Mark Feather Law. MFL. UMFR. UMFR. MFR Law. Oh, -er my goodness. Law. And your opening should be to Thomas's. Mark Feather! Uh, the Law with Mark Feather. Feather Law Tube. Feather Follies. Can we print that? Because I can't write that fast. Fans of... Birds of a Feather. Birds of a Feather. Mark Fallis the Feather. Feather Law. The Odd Feather. Man, they... There's so many. They the got chat is just going The Final right Feather. Now. Ooh, I like that. Final feather. What the about final fe feather. Mark Feather unredacted? Somebody suggested. Oh! The unredacted, unredacted feather. Unredacted feather. <laughs> oh my Gosh. goodness! The whole redacted, unredacted issue. Mm. 
How crazy. I love it. Love what do you guys think? It's got to be. It's so it would be, be unredacted feather? Or the feather unredacted. I don't Free know. Bird. Somebody said you ought to put your name first. I like feather. feather unredacted. Hmm. I like unredacted Un feather. I, I like unredacted I feather. I like unredacted feather. I like uh, unredacted feather. So you know, <laughs> you know, when you when feather you log heads, on to Mark Jeffrey, Feather's YouTube, you. you know you're going to get the unredacted feather. The real Thanks, feather. Jim. Which may put him in front of a judge, <laughs> and you may get fined. <laughs> but thankfully, no. that judge yeah. removed that fine. It's, and so it's got to yeah. be unredacted feather. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think because of the less one of the lessons learned throughout this whole process. Mm -hmm. So so you <laughs> think okay. you well, think you, think you, think you could you could work on that? I want to, and then on. you could come back and and share it with everybody, and we could share the link to your channel and the whole deal. Thanks, Unredacted Colleen. feather. It'll be fantastic. Thank you, guys. So you Thank would you do very that? Much, Jerry. I, yeah. You know what? I'm sorry. 15 minutes is up. <laughs> You're out. You're okay. out. That well, looks like it's going to be you got yes. it. <laughs> you got it? Okay. All right. Mark That's Feather, right everyone. Thank you very much. Feather the planet's and seven feathers. most oh, yeah, seven. famous Come here, Sammy. lawyer. Say bye, Where you at, Seven? Our time is up. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on, baby. Oh, there right you go. Oh, that was such a big there girl. <laughs> such a big girl. Right. You're such a good girl. God bless girl. you. God bless oh, you. Oh, thank you, Mark. Thanks, Mark. Thanks for the pen. Unredacted <laughs> Feather. Sounds like Unredacted oh. Feather is coming soon. We will keep you up to speed Thanks, on his channel. And uh, we are extremely thankful to have not only a legal team, but legal friends. And so it's gone way beyond the fight for injustice mm -hmm. and it's 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 a fight for friends you are side by side linking arms and we appreciate that and yeah. you've seen you've seen this week that um not only are we willing to fight but there are biological family members that are willing to fight mm -hmm. for what's right Thanks, as well Alice. they want the right thing to be done they want safety for children they want safety for towns members they want safety for animals and we said from Thanks, the very Pokemon. beginning when mark first had me in his office he said what are your goals what do you want to accomplish i was said i want to save a child i want to save the residents of the town and i want to save the animals mm -hmm. and those were the goals that that i shared with him and i shared that with randy Thanks, as well as we met randy and so again it's been an incredible um emotional highs journey. and low journey mm -hmm. nobody in their right mind would have ever anticipated or ever thought one hundred and twenty five thousand dollars and thus Thanks, far nice what's lab. happened with one hundred and twenty five thousand dollars well we got civil protection orders permanent civil protection orders from ohio that they continue to violate and break mm -hmm. and levy county deputies have done nothing about it now they have told us they have stressed we have in writing that they are doing everything they can, put them behind bars. And so- Thank you, Wendy Welcome. They, can you imagine being the Levy County Sheriff Deputies Station and the legal liability that they've placed themselves under by not legally enforcing the civil protection orders? In other words, state law mandates they must, federal law mandates they must. And they have in writing from the attorney, in writing, telling them, do not enforce it. Now, when we started talking about lawsuits against them, then all of a sudden the attorney turns it around and says, you will enforce this corner to corner to corner to corner, which is what Detective Bowers told us. Mm -hmm. Which Detective Bowers, frankly, did not do anything for us. He dismissed everything. And now Detective Anderson is on it and saying they are going to do everything they can. And if I, I'll be as bold to, to say prosecute. that um, we said, they asked what is our ultimate goal? And we said our safety for them to be behind bars where they belong for, for violating these civil protection orders. And they echoed what I said and said, that's our goal too. And so they want it to stop. They want Lynette and Crook mm -hmm. to stop violating. Thanks, Audrey. And the, the reality is, until they are locked up, they won't stop. They think, they think they can get away with breaking the law and nothing will happen. And thus far, they have gotten away, and that's not okay. By any stretch of the imagination, that's not okay. And anybody who would be foolish enough to not only give towards uh, Lynette and Crook, 
which literally further incriminates them. I hope you understand that. Anybody who's foolish enough, and there are haters right now that are watching, if you're foolish enough to give towards them, that further incriminates them with disability, that further incriminates them with the 501c3. But to even establish a GoFundMe, knowing that you have seen the actual evidence, you know the evidence, I mean, how, how dumb do you have to be? I, and I get it. Birds of a feather, pun intended, flock together, all right? Mark Feather's a great individual. He, he, um, he's a man of God, and he's a man of integrity, and I'm thrilled that I actually found him and hired him. Mm -hmm. And so birds of a feather flock together. There, there is a silver lining of this situation so far. With If it wasn't for Lynette, making attorney feather a witness we would have never met we would randy have never met randy or and, doreen. and doreen and in that you know in that same token um thank you tim we are we are thankful to be able to call them friends as well mm -hmm. and uh, to walk through this with friends and nobody knows where it ends uh currently we have ohio court there's another contempt of court hearing and currently we have the injunction hearing in Florida, which is at stay right now with the with the appellate courts, with a writ of prohibition to remove Judge DeThomasis, and we have a federal lawsuit. And the funniest thing ever, and I know some of you know, Lynette and Crook filed motions to dismiss stating that I am not an Ohio resident. Okay. Under oath. <laughs> You have to understand, they're doing this under oath. Thank and you, Candace. It is one of the most absolutely ridiculous Welcome, things ever. Lorraine. First of all, they did not do this uh, on their own. And second of all... Uh, well, we've seen the documents that they've submitted to court. And if you've been following Madam Mayor, you've seen what he's written. There's no way they type this up themselves, which puts them in a position that as well. now puts them in a whole nother legal liable situation. And so... The everything these two do further incriminates them. It backfires. It absolutely backfires. And everybody giving them counsel further incriminates them. And you have to ask the question, are they doing it on purpose? Mm -hmm. Like, no, nobody's this dumb, right? Nobody is this ignorant, this stupid, this foolish. Nobody. And yet they proved to me again and again. Yeah. Birds of a feather flock together although i'm not sure these these individuals have ever flown you know a mark feather that man flies like an eagle <laughs> um a linette and crook i i think they're more like a, a featherless flightless they burrow like tortoises yeah yeah they yeah, burrow tag, thank you and dig themselves in further and further in the holes they dig it's it's insanity and so where we are where we are financially in the fight right now uh, there are things that are moving forward in the federal court, and and I have to deal with those tomorrow. And um, and then love it, chance. Thank obviously, you. I was in Ohio dealing with Ohio court as well, which is very, very, very serious as they broke and violated the civil protection order for over an hour and a half in Florida. Now, Lieutenant Anderson tells us that they are going to arrest them for that, and the documentation goes in tomorrow, right? Mm -hmm. So the document. Am I allowed to share that? I guess I already did. Thank so, you, Adam. So you've got Florida that is pursuing arrest. You've got Ohio that's pursuing arrest. And they have federal court. So uh, to, to, needless to say, and that's not even the... That's not even the bulk of their situations and the problems they cause. Do you have any idea how many people could file a lawsuit at any moment against these individuals? Uh, yeah. The members of Levy County, Otter Creek... Silver Scam can. Silver Scam can file a lawsuit against Lynette and Crook for her incriminating him, stating that he did these things just like Feather can, right? So she lies about Feather, and only Feather can answer the question whether he's pursuing legal action against her. Silver Scam could pursue legal action against her. Lots of individuals could pursue legal action against her. Mm. Biological family members of the child could pursue legal action. Other individuals, the list, us within three courts right now, Florida County Court, Ohio County Court, and federal court, that is minimal compared to what can and will be coming down the pipeline for these two. And remember, this is what they wanted. 
This is what they wanted. Don't ever forget that. They were issued a cease and desist. And what did they do? Kept on going. Well, they more also po- and more. Also posted that they were going to ignore it. This is what they wanted. She, in her own words, ran to the Florida Levy County Courthouse. I ran when I saw his videos. I ran to the Levy County Courthouse. This is what she wanted. And she's getting more than she ever bargained for. Oh, she didn't know that we were going to be in the middle of a situation where we took all the motions. Remember, she wanted this. We took all the motions she filed, took her handwriting, and now a forensic expert has the handwriting and has identified her as the writer of the signs that were posted around Otter Creek. Defamation. Huge issue. Not only that, she's lied under oath again and again and again about it. And now, let me say this as well. We know there are two individuals who wrote those signs. Mm. There's two different handwritings. scary. And one of them is not, let me clarify this, is not John Crook. It is not Crook. Now, we have it narrowed down to a handful of individuals that it could be. One of them being one of the rug addicts that Lynette had living in the shed in the tent. What's her name? Actually, two rug addicts. All right, we'll go with two. Two of them are options. What's their name? Don't read the chat. The camera's right there. What's their name? I'm trying to think of their name right now, and I'm drawing a blank. All right. So we do not have their names at the top of our tongues right now because George is reading instead of actually communicating. So there are two rug addicts that were on the property, and those individuals are potential individuals that actually wrote these with Lynette. Now, George has reached out to both of them, and there are others that are in this handful of individuals that it may have been. Here's what I want to share with you. Lynette has already thrown Marla Hughes under the bus. Lynette continues to throw John Crook under the bus. I mean, this is the man that she's supposedly raising a child with, and they share property with, and that she married and divorced, And this is the man she constantly tells everybody that she wants gone. Right? That's what she told me within the first three minutes of meeting her. Keep that in mind. That's the love of her life. She's throwing him under the bus. They constantly throw everybody under the bus. Whoever this other individual who wrote these signs with her, they will be thrown under the bus in a deposition or in court. It is absolute, it will happen. She will be forced to testify about it. And if she doesn't, she'll be held legally liable for it. So here's the deal. It's so simple. I know you're watching right now. You helped her with it. I just want you to testify. And if you testify and you come forward and you say, yes, it was me. And yes, she made me do this. I understand you're a victim of her narcissism as well. I understand that you are a victim of what she does to individuals. And I will release you of all legal liability and focus it all on Lynette. If you don't come forward, it will come forward. She will throw you under the bus. She will with Crook and Marla and everybody else. You will be under that bus and you will have the full extent of the legal liability. That's why I'm saying this now. Come forward until it gets to that point. I can't stress this enough. Do the right thing. You do the right thing, I have lots of patience and grace. As a matter of fact, I've spent years of patience and grace with the town of Otter Creek before I had to pursue things. We spent months of patience and grace with these two, and they didn't stop. And then they sent cease and desist, and they didn't stop. And then they got civil protection orders, and they didn't stop. Come forward testify. And when we know you are telling the truth, I release you of all legal liability. Don't come forward. And when she throws you under the bus, you will have the full extent of legal liability. I want to be very clear on that. Do the right thing and come forward and throw her under the bus before she throws you under the bus. Mm -hmm. All right, George, what did you like most about the Ohio hearings this week? Um, it was straight to the point. The judge did what she was supposed to do. Listen, pretty much refereed both parties, treated everyone equally. There was no favoritism. There was, there was no shown bias there. She did a good job of being impartial, um, and was stern, 
I like that she didn't lecture. She, I mean, she, she was the complete opposite of Judge Tobias's. You mean she was a judge? She was a judge. She, she wasn't was a professor. Actual judge. Thank you. Doing Master. her job as a judge. Mm -hmm. And then when when Lynette interrupted, she told Lynette, "You need to stop interrupting." When you interrupting, when you interrupted, she told you, "You can't interrupt." There was a moment where I struggled with answering a question when I was being cross examined. The judge was was like, "Just answer the question." Like she even stayed on top of me. Thank you, Anne. Um, Which has to happen. I mean, the the biggest question we got from those videos about you is, if you had the signs right you, next Tracy. to you in court, why didn't you tell them you had the signs, you've seen them right next to you in court? That's the biggest question that everybody wants For to know. For me, yeah, I forgot. You're When you're in court and you're put under that much stress and pressure, there's a lot of things that you forget. Or for me, like my brain stops working. When the camera's on, my brain stops working. Which is why I have to redirect her because there's somebody said, oh, be nice. Well, when George is Thank your employee, you, you can figure out how to take care of that. Until then. And so when he asked me a question, literally my brain draw is drawing a blank and I still can't recall what their names are. And one of the re reasons with my memory loss is with my thyroid cancer and it comes with that. And we've shared that journey. And so, <clears throat> yes, I was fully aware that the signs were there. They were mailed to us from Florida to Ohio, but I completely forgot about it. And Crook and Lynette already know that we have them in our possession. They've seen the pictures of me holding them. And then we had them Thank mailed you, from Rosalind. Florida to Ohio for Ohio court. And they were right there, right beside us in Ohio court. All of them. Now they're here in Florida and they will be in federal court. They've actually been in court in the Florida County Court. So they've all been there wrapped in a black bag and they will be in federal court as well. And so it's not an issue of whether they're there or not. Whether you have a picture of whether you have the real thing, we have them all in our possession and they will be in court. The actual physical evidence will be right there in our hands. So regardless of Huh, if you've never seen them, which I love when Crook is throwing her under the bus. Well, if Line, if Lynette wrote them, what does that have to do with me? Well, we already know Crook didn't write them. Now, that doesn't mean he wasn't driving, or that doesn't mean that he wasn't there putting them up in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the yards, but we already know he didn't write them. Remember, come forward now before it's too late and she throws you under the bus. I will release the second person's handwriting, the second person responsible of all legal liability. They come forward. They testify against Lynette. We understand you're a victim of her manipulation. We get it. We understand completely. But you better come forward before she throws you under the bus. Because at that point, you have full legal liability. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And, and, and to question yourself, is it worth it for her? And seeing all the evidence that we've provided and shared on the channel that she is not who she claims that she is. She pretends that she's a victim when in reality it's pure evil. Her own family is testifying against her. Like, what does that tell you? Everyone in her family. No one is sticking up for her or being a witness for her. Everyone's testifying against her. Saying this is her pattern in life. Mm -hmm. What does that tell the normal person? Uh, this is who she is and what she does. I'm not the first person. She's not the first person that they've ever done this to. We won't be the last. She's known this, to do this to people for decades. If this isn't cared us. for appropriately in courts, we won't be the last. And we want to make sure we're the last. We don't want, we would not wish this on anybody, anybody at all. It's mm. horrific. Absolutely horrific. And one of the things you're going to see in tomorrow's video, you're going to see the contempt of court hearing in tomorrow's video and you're going to hear Lynette crying ah, we just we're scared to death of him we want him to leave us alone we're trapped she literally says I'm trapped in my shed that's odd because she's at everywhere literally everywhere but Thank she's Candace. breaking the civil protection order for an hour and a half at the month ago at the town hall meeting. Mm -hmm. Is this a woman that's locked in her shed in fear? No, but this she's is paralyzed. This is property. a woman who continues, habitually continues to try and use anything and everything she can mm -hmm. to intimidate, manipulate. She's a horrific individual. She constantly says she doesn't leave her property. She only leaves to go to Walmart or to the pharmacy, but yet she's at town hall. How does that make any sense? 
You tell me. I don't know. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. How does anything that woman says make sense? Nothing makes sense. How does anything he says? He can't even read. He can't even read the... the, the this is what's going through my mind. The dude can't even read what he wrote. I'm wondering how in the world he wrote it if he can't read it. But we know it's under his profile, but he can't even read. Does it literally take him 30 minutes to type out, Uh, duh, tell me, I have a picture of my Tic Tac in George's mouth. You can't delete this one. <laughs> Does it take him a half hour to actually write that out? Lord knows it takes him about a half hour to read it. And those posts were taken, those screenshots were taken when he posted those on, on the Jokalis's page. So it was public. She's Very even public. aware of them. And she even has screenshots. Very public. Very, very public. Yes. And, and then he wants to play it off. And you understand, since he's denying that, under oath, and this is one of the things you're going to hear in this week's hearings that the judge is going to tell them. You understand that any testimony you give can be used against you mm -hmm. in other proceedings. Mm -hmm. And Lynette and Crook still go forward and lie. And they are going to be destroyed based on their lies. Thanks, all Mark. under oath in federal court. I mean, I, I, I can't even imagine the amount of stupidity. The smart thing is, shut your mouth. Right? Anybody out there would go, shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. Her own lawyer, Silver Scam, has had to have told her, shut your mouth. And can she? Doesn't appear to be. Thank you, Ragnar. Does not appear to be whatsoever. Well, uh, unless you're in a deposition. I plead the fifth. All right. Uh, so you're pleading the fifth. All right, I'll answer. From now on, I plead the fifth. I plead fifth the fifth to everything. 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 Okay, I'll answer. Everything. I can't hear you. Puzzled puzzler, thank you. Well, uh, can you speak up? <laughs> oh, my goodness. That is... That is probably the best video we've ever put out on the YouTubes, don't you think? There... <laughs> Which, I mean, I, come on. So I've personally never watched any uh, anyone else's other's depositions, but hers, hers has to be up there, like top three. Well, we can share with you, she will be deposed yet again for the federal case. She will have a two-day, full two-day deposition. And uh, she will not be getting out of any of it. And Crook will have the same. And he will not be getting out of any of it. And so, uh, if man, I can only imagine. I can only imagine what's going to come out with the federal case deposition. Um, there's going to... <laughs> It definitely shouldn't be on Zoom. Gonna be, it's going to be t-shirt worthy. Actually, it's going to be in court. There's going to be a judge right there. And if she starts any of this garbage, she'll be in contempt of court. And she could be arrested right there. And so can so he. So she should bring her toothbrush. Her, yes. Teethbrush. Uh, no, tooth. Toothbrush. You were correct the first time. Toothbrush. Just a toothbrush. Just the toothbrush. Not, because she loves and Thanks, he loves Jamie. to lie through their tooth. I can't so, wait. I can't wait to see if they finally start a business, start actually working to, to create money. And I, I would assume it's going to be a law firm and, and it's going to be it's going to be Preston and Cook. We will lie through our tooth. For it you. wouldn't be unredacted tooth. Oh, it would be my unredacted teeth. <laughs> we will lie through our tooth for you. That's what it will end up being. That's what it'll be. Something along those lines. We've got a lot. We've got man. I'll tell you, we. You ain't seen crazy yet until you see the contempt of court hearings that are coming this week from Ohio. Um, you think what you've seen in Ohio court is crazy so far, which it is. This is going to take it up another level. And I'm sure federal court is going to take it up even another and another and another. And all of those that are sending us screenshots and saying, hey, did you see what she filed? Yes, we know exactly what she filed. We know exactly what she said. So she filed a motion. She said, Jeremy's not a resident of Ohio. They both did. They both <laughs> filed the exact same. You, anyone can file a motion it's, it's to funny. dismiss. It's funny. It's up to the judge to decide. I've seen that they're here all the time. I've only seen them gone a couple of days. It's because I watched their YouTube videos. Well, there we go. Perjury yet again. Stating under oath, I've only watched three 
maybe four videos. Well, she even told the Florida judge she doesn't watch the videos. And but yet, her in her motion, I, out of the videos, they're only gone three or four days. Oh, more like seven months. So but, if you, you know. remember, there was a ton of motions that she filed when she was still pro, uh, pro se. And the judge denied all those motions. So you, anyone can file a motion. Doesn't mean that it's going to be approved. And all she does is give us more handwriting uh, samples, which, by the way, she attempted to use a different handwriting in her motion. Interestingly enough, because she got caught. Now, do you think her signature is going to match any of the other signatures on all of her motions? Nope. So what did she do by trying to change her handwriting? She incriminated herself even further. How dumb can you be? Literally, how dumb can you be? And uh, they stated that I am not a resident of, of Ohio, which is interesting. I have businesses registered in Ohio. Mm. All my vehicles are registered in Ohio. My driver's license is Ohio. My voting is in Ohio. Uh, I, pay, I pay all my taxes in Ohio. It goes on and on and on. Everything is Ohio. And so the, it's going to be thrown out immediately. Immediately. And what was the other thing that they stated? Oh, that I don't have 75000 or more in damages or, or fees, which we could already know. I have over $125,000 just in legal fees. That doesn't count in damages. That doesn't count emotional distress between us. That doesn't count in all the other expenses of travel, uh, everything that has happened in regards to, to that. So you know how you prove that there's more than $75,000 it's pretty easy. My lawyer goes, this is how much he's paid me already. And I believe with Brandy and Doreen, if we account for, if we account for, we're probably, I'm going to say we're at 80, 85,000, somewhere in there. I don't know specifically over the top of my head. Just that legal team is over 75,000 already. And so uh, by all means, it'll be immediately thrown out what she's filed as far as a motion and what he's filed. And right. keep in mind, they are both being sued in federal court for $75,000 in expenses each. And so she will have she will have her court. He will have his court. They are both being sued, both of them separately. Two separate cases. Two separate cases in federal court that um, no doubt they are scrambling. They are scrambling. All right. Speaking of scrambling, we're going to see more Ohio court this week, for sure. There's a lot of cool things going on. Um, try. <laughs> the, the, the only thing I can tell you is in the contempt of court cases, their voices is as excruciating as it is to listen to them. Their voice level is down low because of the system that was being recorded on. And so that's a positive. And uh, there are a ton of funny moments. You know, as a matter of fact, um, Jessica, is my filming phone over there? I want to give you a teaser for tomorrow. What I do with it? You know, what? I'll, I think it's right here. I'm going to okay. give you a teaser for tomorrow's video because it's so funny. There's... the. Just picture the deposition video. This is this is the teaser. the deposition video. Teaser for tomorrow's. And how doesn't follow instruction. Constant interruption. That is true. This this is hilarious. You're gonna have to hold the microphone up. Okay. Miss Preston, Miss Preston, what are you doing? All right, here we go. I warned you, Miss Preston. Miss Preston, what are you doing? I'm trying to get Sheriff's Department on the phone. Stop talking. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Who does that? Who calls the Levy in the County of Sheriff a court hearing? in the middle of court? Oh my goodness. She's on the phone with Levy County Sheriff. She's no a, joke. She's abusing the courtesy no joke. of being on Zoom. Which is why and the you judge saw that during the deposition. No well. longer give them the courtesy of Zoom. It's Thank insanity. you, Crafty. Sanity. Absolute insanity. Okay, we do have a lot of mail. Should we jump into mail tonight? Yes. All right, we're gonna jump into mail. And we're going to have a ton of fun with our mail because you guys are so crazy awesome. And then uh, we've got some more fun things to do tonight as well. But before, I wonder how many Mark Feather pens there's going to be tonight. All right, before we jump into the mail, we got to have a mail song, right? Uh oh, my singer. Is, there we go. Got to keep her on track. 
easily I distracted. Think. I swear, she's easily squirrel. Squirrel. To put the pens away. The feather pen away. Thank you, Candace. We got mail. All right, George. Here's a whole hand bin. Me, oh hand my me goodness. This bin. There's a whole bin right there. We've got Jessica here with us as well. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, Debbie Farmer, Gina, Jessica were all here this weekend. And Which um, Debbie and Gina are in the chat right now, and they said that they made it safely to good, their destination. Good, very, very good. And so they were here in uh, Levy County, and they invited us to have some fun with them. And they even celebrated my birthday with me. And so that was very special, and I appreciate it. And they invited us to hang out at their B&B. &B. Yes. And Gina cooked so much food. <laughs> so much food. She loves to cook. And she's going on a culinary cruise, so she made a pit stop to Otter Creek, and then she's heading to her cruise yeah, next. Yeah, but I pooped four times today. That's not That's normal. That's TMI. Oh, oh. I just, I just thought it was, I ate so much food because she was, uh, whichever one you want. Jessica's still here hanging out, and you may see her arms. All right, I got this one from Booger. <laughs> no, I'm not joking. This is from Booger. This is from <laughs> Okay, it might be burger. I got a shirt that says like, like a, good a good neighbor. neighbor stay, stay over there. there. Oh, There's is that a three X? Oh, please, yes. Twenty. Who did it? Who did it? Oh 20. my goodness. It doesn't say who, but it's from Crazy Dog T-shirts. Oh my goodness, say I who love the it. The purchaser is so whoever sent that. Thank you. Well, this is from Booger. Jeremy and George, thank you for all you do and all uh, what you are, what you're showing, and following the path of God is for both of you. It has not left or forsaken you. You show God's love and mercy. I hope all of us can show everything that you've given us. Can you be hard to accept and return the blessings? You bless so many people. It's time for blessings and prayers in return. You are fighting a good fight, and we, the people, will be standing with you. Caroline Burger. Sweet. Caroline. Caroline. Bah, bah, bah. All right, here's Burgers flag. never taste so good. Uh uh. Oh. Another just do the right thing. Should I change? <laughs> Should I change? <laughs> Gina says, happy to cook for you guys. Gina is... It was delicious. I had oh leftovers my goodness. today we, and yesterday. We, she was eating her leftovers. Gina made these huge baked potatoes and they were I so good. I think Debbie did. Oh, Debbie made... Okay, yeah. Debbie made the baked potatoes. It was in the oven. You know what? These women know how Thanks, to cook. Judy. Okay, And so she's eating leftover baked potato today and um, I was like... Take a little, I put some, some of butter that. and some she shredded put cheese. Butter on and it. shredded cheese, and I couldn't, I couldn't take it. I'm like, all right, I'm eating half of that, and I Says, did. Hey there, George and Jeremy. I made some cross in my, I have made the cross in my pocket for you all, George. One for Jeremy, one for George, one for Deanna, one for Patience and and Christian. I hope you like them from Janice Maynard and Gerald Maynard. Love your shows. I hope you will enjoy the cross in your pocket. It's literally a cross, a cross in, in a, a pocket. pocket. And there's Cross different pockets. colors. <laughs> Cross pockets. Thanks, Janice. Robin Lehman from Alabama. Sent with positive, heartfelt love. I will email you uh, you the minute you can cash this in at any Wells Fargo or Chase Bank. That's so fun. They sent us $25,000 Iraqis. Uh, I don't know exactly what it is, but we are not going to cash this in. Listen, we, we hold on to all of these foreign funds. They're really cool huh. to collect. Okay. What is stuff the mailbox? I, I'm sorry. Stuff the I don't mailbox. know. So sending you a little love to your mailbox. You deserve this and so much more. And all you do, spread the love, uh, spread the word. Love from Texas, David and Becky Brem. And oh, thank you, David and Becky. Five dollar holla. Whoa! Five dollar. This. I um, just found a. I just found a hundo <laughs> holla. Holy cow! Thanks, Susan. I'm think. I'm guessing this is probably goes towards the. the I'm gonna say that's probably that's probably for the legal fees. Look, yes. this is how you do it. Emergency okay to read on air. All right, okay to read on air. I've been a silent subscriber oh. to the channel for a few years. The channel adds entertainment to my day. I want you to use this money towards your legal fees. I think what Judge Grudge is doing is unthinkable in our country. It Buckle really up, is. Judy, B. Judy, thank you so much. Emergency Me sent the Good Neighbor T-shirt. We love it. <laughs> it is it is awesome. Thank Judy, you, Judy, me. thank you so much for all that have been giving towards the legal fund. We we can't thank you enough. And there are many other YouTubers 
who have been doing fundraisers, fundraisers for us as yeah. well. We can't thank you enough. And yes. we never anticipated these expenses, never, ever. which has made things challenging in other areas of our life. And not knowing the end, that's the biggest thing. It's like not knowing where it's going to end and, and having to revamp our entire plans for the year, scheduling projects, things that we want to do for other people. That's what hurts the most. <gasps> <laughs> nice oh man i would so love to this wear this is from I john love. john and sheila peterson says my husband and i found the shirt at the webster flea market a few weeks are ago. you serious i thought of you and the battle you are in with the court system i didn't they didn't have blue i was bummed almost didn't buy it but my husband I like said it. you should i like it i like it <laughs> thank you john and sheila there's a surprising amount of love in this folded piece of paper whoa there's also a Tenno right there. I bet you this is for legal Ten fees. Dollar, holla. I bet you it's for legal fees. Just know there are tons of folks standing by your side. Please take care of yourselves. Regard Jane Boyd, Jane's Jungle Safari. Thank you so much, Jane. Jeremy George, I'm so sorry you're going through all this mess. I don't like GoFundMe as the whole amount won't go to you. Please use this as you want towards your legal fees or just a nice meal out. We will go towards legal fees once all the legal things are all over. We will then... I don't know. I feel like we got to have a What the Hales fan party afterwards or something. These are inspiration. Someday. Each thank day you of the so year. much. Thank you so much. Not sure who this is from, but thank you so much. There's supposed to be inspirational sayings every day in here. You don't. You don't get enough inspirational sayings from me. Oh, I, I get all kinds of stuff from you. You know what I get from George? I farted. That's what I get from George, and that's inspiring <laughs> for me to get don't up you, and run. Don't you already have this? Now you have another. No, I no, I don't. I don't. I'm not sure I have I that think one. I do. I think we love do. moles, though. There's right, no notes, so thank from Marion Jonker from from California. Dearest Jeremy, I've been watching your YouTube channel for years now. I've been delighted to watch you and George change so many folks' lives with your generosity and love. Your never ending kindness to those who are blessed to receive the personal possessions from you and when, when you won the storage unit that they lost due to many tragic circumstances. Your generosity and caring for those may be facing hard times remarkable in today's world. Your gift to Camp Patmos to enable kids who can't afford the fee to get attend camp. I'm sure this has changed the lives of many kids who were brought to Jesus and went on to pay it forward to others, mirroring your dedication. Your hundreds of thousands of followers. Wait, Crook said there's only 6,000. Your hundreds of thousands of followers around the world recognize you and George as unbelievable people who live their faith in God and share devotion to how the Bible should be lived out in our world today. Your event, Half Mill Time to Grill, showed how much you both are loved by folks from around the world who attended. I pray God continue to bless you and that your current legal situation will be resolved so you can work to make the world a better place and continue for years to come. I'm 80 years young and I would be blessed to adopt you both as my my grandchildren. Sincere. Marion! <laughs> it's done. We're adopted. You're our grandma now. And that's how easy it is. Look, this can go on my desk. It says, I'm sorry I, I offended, offended you. you. By using facts and logic. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It says, I hope you enjoyed this one from Shane Cook. Thank you, you, Shane. Do you think we could get Line Nets animal uh, lawyer to, to make sure that, that we could get adopted by Marion? It would be fraudulent, wouldn't it? Fraudulent? No. Okay. <laughs> This is all the way from Ohio, Sandyville, Ohio, from Kimberly Henline. Jeremy and George, dearest Jeremy and George. Dearest Jeremy and George. Boy, this is formal right here. It's, oh, I've been a re subscriber. Go ahead. I've been a subscriber of What the Hales for over three years. I recently became a member of the What the Hales family. I'm from Sandyville, Ohio, small village, Tuscarora County. I know where that is. My faith is extremely important to me. Me too. And I watched several channels with Christian families. One day your channel popped up and I watched and I was hooked. I knew you were true Christians with a heart of helping others, which is a priority in my life. That Thanks, is Sally. the DNA and the wiring that God placed in me. Uh, then, who wouldn't love Christian and patience? I agree. And Baby Pepper. Oh my goodness, so cute. She is a cutie. So cute. Okay. She is a cutie. All right, I got to stop thinking about Baby Pepper. I got I to gotta read this. Uh, I got to go back and see Baby Pepper. The bond that you have with them is so very special. Getting to see your friendship with Rob Conkey Guapo is remarkable. Now that you've added so many more friends in Otter Creek with Deanna, Brian, Therese, Brett, Belinda, Doug, Joyce, and the list goes on and on, you truly have a personality that draws people to you. Unfortunately, also personality that draws stalkers. It's, it's a blessing 
And a curse. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I want to personally thank you for exposing the corruption at Otter Creek Town Council. I've learned so much from what you have done. My village is unincorporated and has township trustees who care less about a town. Everyone just does what they want. And what's used to be very, very nice and clean town is turning into a trash town. I live in a home. I was raised in it, and it's shameful. It's obvious there's a big issue with the ju judicial system here in Florida. It's hard to say how far it goes. There's no doubt that Judge Thomas says is 100% biased and should be removed from the bench. I'm not sure it would help, but I think the case should be removed to another kind county actually uh the violations for the the violation at the town hall meeting for crook and Lynette is being moved to another county mm -hmm. so levy county detectives are moving it to another county for prosecution uh so that is a positive thing my heart aches for everything you're going through no one deserves to be stalked harassed threatened sh slandered and the list goes on and on the world is evil and people used to believe that they are owed everything. If people would be value society again and use the system, look for handouts, we'd be living a better world. My prayers are with you both, and the truth shall prevail, and you win this case. God is with you. May he comfort you and give you strength. Hold tight to each other and never let the sins of others affect your love for each other. God will always trump over the evil. God bless Kim. Thank you so yes. much, Kim. Thank uh, you so much. This shirt's from A. Keating. It says, enjoy your shirt. Do the right thing is also for me. So this one might be from that Aiding. one or the other one, or that the, you black one the black says, one that you every day for you and George. Thank you. Aiding. Thank you so much. Never have enough good shirts with one liners. Can you imagine the one liner shirts that we could actually create just from these court proceedings? A lot. My mother died. A lot. Uh, this is from oh this says happy birthday, Jeremy. Dear Jeremy. Oh, my God. It's your birthday. Hope it's utterly fantastic from Christine and just Christine Roman Noodles. May the Lord continue to bless you and keep up with his loving arms. Thank you so much, Christine. And I, I do turn 47 this Saturday. This sa I'm going to be 47. Dr. Deuce. Do you realize how close I am to 50? Is that by <laughs> Dr. Deuce? Thank you, Christine. You know who that's from, right? This has got to be Debbie Vaughn. <laughs> this is so 100%. Don't even read it to me. Debbie Vaughn. I yeah, love it there, already. There's a note. It says, happy birthday, Jeremy. That other poop book was looking a little thin and metamucil -y. <laughs> I love Metamucil. Oh, my Lady goodness. Lady Tammy says the black do the right thing is from her. Of course it's from her. She picks the best shirts. Here's a backup for you and your friend's backsides at the mohole from Debbie Vaughn. <laughs> of course it's from Debbie Vaughn. Oh, my goodness. We have to look at a page. Dr. Deuce's. That's this hilarious. is ridiculous. Welcome to the bathroom. Have a nice day. Creativity box. <laughs> the great debate over or under. Have you ever given a Dutch given a Dutch oven? Yes, she well, has. I don't even know what that is. Have you received a Dutch oven? Yes, I have. I don't, Used a bidet. I don't even know. Yes, she has. Pooped your adult pants every time I eat cashews, which has been for like two weeks straight now. Been pooped on. Yes, yes, I have. <laughs> I have. Uh, stepped in a poop. Yep. Lit your fart aflame. No, we should try that tonight. Look, That'd be fun. This is from Kevin Hitchcock. Oh, my goodness. Look how cool that is. Holy you show it to everyone. It says, Jeremy and George, please find a real feather ink pen. I got it when I ordered some tools online oh for about goodness. 100 bucks. This is what I got. Wow. I did get my money back. I thought this would be a good use for the pen. So maybe your lawyer can take it to court and use it. You'll maybe, need an ink well. <laughs> maybe I'll use it with my bathroom book for oh, do by Dr. Deuce. What do you think, Kevin? Bathroom book or lawyer? Captain's court? log. <laughs> Captain's log. It was a nice, solid one wiper. <laughs> No, okay. I just thought that's what Debbie Vaughn would say. Thanks, Kevin. This is from Jesse Stevens in Madison Heights, Virginia. Hello, Jeremy and George. Jeremy with a G, George with a J. Plus all independent contractors. Well, there you have it, everybody. <laughs> all right, I've been watching. That would be George. She's an independent contractor. I've been watching your videos ever since the Raby Saga, LOL. Buy all the stuff. Uh, boy, buy all, all this stuff nowadays has... Has all that beat. I wanted to write and say thank you for all the videos you put on. On March 22nd, I go in for my second open heart surgery. First in uh, was in 2014. I pray you and George and everyone around you stay safe during this trying time in your lives. I'm going to need uh, quickly. Uh, I'm going to need quality entertainment while I'm recovering. Well, you ain't going to get it from what the hails. <laughs> <laughs> so can you please contact the following content creators? 
Just kidding. In all seriousness, you all please stay safe. Take care of each other. God's got this. He'll bring you through and and me through my surgery and will bring us all through this Thanks, mess. Lori. God bless you, Jeremy and George. Jesse Stevens from Virginia. Let's be praying for Jesse for sure yes. with his open heart surgery. Prayers. Look at this. Look how cool these are. Oh, my goodness. Those are from Aunt, Aunt Patty. Patty. You didn't even have to tell me. I knew she made she them. She says, if you like them and you want other tags, let me know. And she even, on top of That's that, she cool. made me tags for my totes. Look how nice and bright they are. Wow. Labeled. She made you a balls <laughs> tag? That's yeah, action figures. Okay. Art, card games. Card games, games crafts, die casts. So for Christmas in the Creek. Oh, labeled, that makes sense. That makes that makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. Absolutely. Thank you, Aunt Patty. All right. This one is from Neil Cleary in Illinois. Dear Jeremy, on the subject of village council. Da, 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 going Thank on, you, da, dry da, bags. On the subject of valuation of physical stuff. Come and say this. Let me cut to the chase. What is the proper value of Don the Con's fire truck? Oh, okay. On the subject of dangerous, loose running animals. Find a large dog. Okay. On the subject of financial disclosure information, uh, from, this is the one portion I can read to you. It seems like the sort of good questions that a village reporter might have for public officials during the public comments from Neil Cleary, Deer Creek, Illinois. You're welcome to read parts of my letter on air, but I would prefer not to have my name. <laughs> oh, my you gotta write you that have to write that in the beginning, <laughs> not Neil. And Land Remembered book, it says, Jeremy uh, is a book I have read a few times, and I thought you and George may enjoy it. It has a lot of historical information written in story format from Ann Nowakowski. Thank, Thank you, you Ann. Ann. This is from Mary Dale in Williamsburg, Ohio. I know where that is. A wish for your birthday, she says. Best wishes. I turned 47 on Saturday. Everybody's wishing me a happy birthday this month, but it's on Saturday, March 30th is my birthday. I can't believe I'm this close to 50. Happy birthday. Best wish. But for 47, I really do have a lot of my hair still. You know, and you got that heart-shaped thing going there, so that's kind of hot, you know. So, bald and dad bobs are in. Uh, happy birthday. Best wishes, Mary Dale. And then, oh, there's another... Here's another one. I'm with you, and I will protect you wherever you go. Thank you so much, Mary. And then there is another. But wait, there's more. There's more. Okay. Happy Easter. She says happy Easter, too. Remember when Easter. Christine Roman Noodle sent an Easter basket, and we ate it all? Christine, that basket's almost gone. gone. It's almost gone. That does not mean send more, Christine Roman Noodles. <laughs> Because you go above and beyond. You do way too much, and you spoil us. All right. This one. This As a matter of fact, most Jules. you guys all spoil us. This is hard to even There's believe. There's a, a note that says on air, and then one that says off air. So thank you for, for that. For clarifying. And it says, Jeremy and George, the gifts. The following gifts are as follows. The for the the for real shirts. The for real shirts are pretty obvious. So it gives a good chuckle when you say that. Uh, the fun employment goes to Diana, my Hispanic friend. She is such an asset. <laughs> Those who don't know, Diana is Hispanic. She's Cuban. She's and part so, Cuban. I'm pretty sure she's all Cuban. Last I checked, but um, the fun employment goes she's to Diana. Part Cuban. All right. Apparently, she's part Cuban. For real. Her pinky toes are Cuban. The rest of her. Who knows? Anybody's guess. Okay. German. I thought she was part German. Fine. The rest of her is German. Her right? pinky toes are yeah. Cuban. All right. Fun employment goes to Deanna, my Hispanic friend. She is such an asset to you. Yes, she really is. My apologies to your new employee. I didn't know all about her till recently. Don't worry. We'll be selling her phone number to all you gentlemen out there because we need help paying legal fees. <laughs> Deanna, don't worry. You can change your number afterwards. All right. The stress balls go to Belinda to use when dealing with Dumb and Dumber. Oh, uh, yeah, we know four of them in Busted here. Biscuit uh, Boy there. I really feel for her. Those two can't handle someone. Oh, and Don and Khan and, and uh, Russ the Sus. Some Those two can't handle someone with an intelligence. Don the Khan does a good impression of Baby Ooh, Huey. As far as the ongoing battle, you are first to call Lynette out. She has always gotten away with her filthy lies and scams. My heart sinks as a mother for what that little girl. I've lost total faith in the system. Wishing you all the best. Just remember, can't fix stupid jewels. Thank yes, you so much, thank Jules. You, Jules. This is from Elizabeth in Plymouth, Indiana. Elizabeth... Oh. Uh, Elizabeth Goris and whoa, we got a feather quill. Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh my goodness! You guys have such an incredible sense of humor. And what else do we have here? I have a feeling this is for. Is that for... just do the right thing? Just buckle up, buckle up, baby! 
<laughs> Buckle up. Thank you so much. And there's another little note here, this too. This from Ray and Kathy. We got another note. I'm going to read the note real quick. Dear j and uh, I hope these idea of bringing a smile to your face. My husband and I got into a buying storage units because of you guys. We bought a unit with a commercial freezer in it for 90 bucks. Then we sold the freezer for 400 Yes. We watch all your videos and lives. There are some days I wish my... I hear my husband yelling at the TV because of... Dot, 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 dot. We already know who, who he's yelling at. We wish you both peace and happiness and are praying for you both at the end of this soon. Elizabeth Gores. Thank you so much, Elizabeth. Yes, okay. we end up... Um, this is for your workshop. It's a customized what the hell's workshop. I can fix anything except stupid. <laughs> There's a lot of truth to that right there. I love it. I love it. That's this funny. For the Otter Creek properties. Yes! Nice. And then this says it's for the Might bottom of the fridge. Off. All right. It says goes on the bottom of the refrigerator for George. Thank you so much, Rain Kathy. Oh, boy. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is... We got we got a brand new feather tie here. Hey, now. This is for your attorney, Randall Shockett. I hope he enjoys it and he attends every hearing he has with the Thomases. Sporting this tie from Kilobyte. <laughs> Keeping my name as YouTube name. Thank you so much, Kilobyte. We will we will make sure attorney Shockett gets this. Now he's got two. Now he's got two. He's got one from us ties. and one from you. So <laughs> no doubt we will we will ensure he will probably get this this week. All right, you need more? Yep. George needs more. Never gets enough. All right. Ooh, I think I, I think I know what these are for. I bet you it's Christmas in the Creek. Christmas in the Creek. Whoa. So enjoy your gift, Christmas in the Creek 2024 from Kelly Lemansky. I need the notes, oh my goodness, I Some think I got hoops. a box. I got another one from Kelly. Look, 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 look. You got the hoops? Yeah. Where's your where's your label for balls? <laughs> Because I got the balls over here. Look at this. Right here, Kelly sent the balls. This is a full box of basketballs for the hoops. Nice. And it's very, very heavy. Thank you so much. My goodness. If I'm cringing, it's because this shoulder oh has been popping out of the socket. This is not for Christmas in the Creek. No? It says, George mentioned she needed a massage when Jeremy is not available. This might help. Bonus! He did sending prayers as you protect our constitutionally given rights from Jerry. I got one from Burger again. Thank you, Jerry. Burger, not booger. Yay. I don't massage George. We're not like that. All right. Um, we got uh, God's Not Dead, We the People. That's a good movie there. And apparently, I think we got some capsules to take care of my diarrhea issues. That'd be my guess. Oh, and we got we got a little old light Your pack right there. Issues. I got cashew issues. There's no doubt about it. What's this? This is calming blend essential oils. Essential oils. All right, now I gotta read it. I gotta figure out. Uh, G and J. This is from Caroline Burger again. She's such a sweetie. And there's Thanks, Car Carol. Carol Ellis in the chat too. Thank you so much. We love you too. Thank you for all you do and the humor that you bring to this world. I'm sure you have these things to help a lot of others and try and help. I use these. Since I lost my son, oh my goodness, she lost her son. I apologize for that. Aww. And seems to help me a lot with a lot of emotions at once. Help these, help, hope these help in some way. Praying for your stress and anxiety to Do go away. More? Oh, I have tons more. Prayers for all. Sorry it's taken this long to get everything to you. Okay, we definitely have more. Holy cow, this one's a big one. Oh, my, you know what? This one's from Kelly as well. We got more hoops. More hoops for Christmas in the Creek from Ooh, Kelly. Look at that. Christmas in the Creek That's here. gotta be. I'm gonna set that one over right there. From and Caroline then, Burger. We got more hoops. Got Look at Kelly. Kelly sent a ton of hoops. Check that out for Christmas in the Creek. Christmas in the Creek 2024. We want more. Oh, Lego. We wanna we wanna double up Lego. what we did last year. And we are concerned. We are concerned with all the legal fees and not knowing where everything is going to go, whether we'll be able From to double Carolyn. up. Carolyn. Thank you, Carolyn. But we're going to do the best that we possibly can. Um, that. Okay. Let me check here. All right. <laughs> all right. I, I got it, Flippin' Adventures. You know what to do. Okay, so... Uh, and then, here we go. Let's see. Oh! You want to see Georgie? You want to see Georgie? 
Mayor Dan sent us a picture Aww. of Georgie. All right, so. Remember they were going to name her Lego? <laughs> so, Mayor Dan sent us a picture of Georgie. You don't know the story of Georgie yet. It's up for debate whether you will ever know the story of Georgie. We'll figure that out this summer. But that is, oops, that is Georgie right there. And she is beautiful. That's Georgie. So, Mayor Dan just sent that picture of Georgie. And uh, you're going to have to stay tuned to figure out Ooh, whether is. whether we ever tell you exactly who Georgie is or why. Okay. All right. We got one more thing. It's a thing. Oh, we got another thing. It's a thing. Okay. We got, we got another international snack box. This time it's treats and snacks from Peru. Peru. It looks like it's all kinds of spicy. We got some spicy chips. Some chocolate. We've got Oh, by the way, more chocolate. Oh we're literally we're literally getting evidence sent to us. Remember when Crook stated that he did not he did not post that he that he said he had a picture of his Tic Tac in George's mouth? Well, here is an entire conversation. There's Marli Huge. Uh, here's an entire more conversation. Cookies. Right here, Lynette, here's the craziest part. Lynette says, John should not have said that, and he said he's sorry about what he said. All right, so I apparently... There was no apology. Apparently, if you say you're sorry, you're no longer legally liable. Makes it go you away. can do whatever you want, and if you say sorry, it, oh, it's okay. thanks, Carolyn. I'll keep that in mind. So let's make something extremely clear. Saying sorry doesn't release legal liability, period. Absolute number one. Number two, under oath. this is the woman who says, I am not responsible for John Crook and what he says and he does, but then goes into court and says, Jeremy's responsible for what all his fans say and do. You can't have one or the other, period. End of story. She is going to be held liable for what John Crook has said or done, or I will not be held liable for what all my fans have said or done, supposedly based on what her lies are. You don't get one or the other. You don't get, oh, I'm not responsible for John, but Jeremy's responsible for the planet. You see what I'm saying? How stupid can one person be? And the answer is extremely. Yeah, every so any, day, every day, I'm in shock even more of the dumb things these two do. Every it's, day. It's her saying he did something stupid and I'm not responsible. But it's her saying to Thomas, he's responsible for all of what his fans have done. It's her saying, I didn't do that. Marla Hughes did that. Well, we're going to find out what the courts say about that you, and Jay Marla, Lunsford. because Marla will be held as accountable as well. Victoria will be birthday. held as accountable as well. And there are others that will be held as count accountable as well as this all proceeds. And this, this is not going to be done in any time, short span time. This is going to be stretched out. I mean, potentially could be years. So it's going to be a process, depositions, hearings from that information under oath. Then there will be other lawsuits filed against Marla from Victoria Munsell and others as well. Thanks, Larry. DUI guy. Wait, what did he that? say? I want John to be. <laughs> He's saying it in an accent. Oh my goodness. I want John to be my husband because he's a good man and his motions to dismiss is going to be granted. Just watch, stupid. Stupid, Jeremy. Jeremy is so stupid. Jeremy is stupid. Jeremy is so stupid. How could Jeremy be so stupid? Oh my goodness! I, 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 my shoulder. I don't. For whatever reason, it keeps popping out of socket, and so um, your shoulder. It's gonna be. It's gonna be difficult with uh, storage units if we get any. So, at any rate, um, thank you so much for all your generosity. Those who want to continue to give to the legal fund, we truly appreciate it. Uh, there is a, a lot of expenses already, and there'll be a lot of expenses in the future. And frankly, uh, you guys coming together as family and supporting us and laughing with us and crying with us and being frustrated with us, you know, 
being excited with us when there's victories as well means the world and for everybody giving as well mm -hmm. uh, we truly truly appreciate it and there are those yes. who say hey we don't, we don't know we, we can't we're not in a position where we can give the greatest gift you can ever give and I truly that mean it doesn't this. cost you anything but it's your time free. it's free subscribe to the channel all you do is hit the button it's 100% free you subscribe to the channel and then watch every video from the very beginning to the very end and that helps more than you could ever imagine mm. and so you viewing and sharing what's going on and sharing and exposing what's going on will help it not happen to others whether that be from Lynette whether that be from Crook whether that be from Judge to Thomas's helping get all that information out viewing it all helps it get out the more you view of YouTube, the more you view of our videos as far as what the Hales channel, the more YouTube pushes it out. And so the way that YouTube works, and we don't talk about this really ever, the way YouTube works, the more that's watched, the more the algorithm or the mathematical equation goes, oh, this is really good videos. And it pushes it further out and pushes it further out and it pushes it further out. So when you actually watch every video from the beginning to the end, that tells YouTube more people need to see this. And the more that see it, the more it gets exposed. Mm. And that ensures that there's accountability. And that means more people can't be victimized by these people. And so we appreciate every aspect, every view, you, every gift. And uh, we can't ever thank you enough. Yes, we appreciate the continued love and support from our true fans. There's viewers and there's fans. The viewers... You don't know if they're friends or foe. You don't know. You never know. You never, ever know. And then you have the crazy stalkers. Like, never in a million years did George and I ever think that somebody was going to watch the channel no. and stalk us. No. And do the things that they've done. Say the things that they've done. Mm -hmm. um, and then have the godmother of the alleged adopted child expose the hidden agenda of stalking and moving close to and us. And then have biological family contact us, have step family contact us. I mean, you name it, they have contacted. People from Northport have contacted us. We have yet to actually contact one individual. Everybody comes to us and Correct. says, this is a life pattern, a life problem mm -hmm. for these two. And where we sat there in the beginning, we were like, why in the world is this happening? We never in a million years thought this would happen to us. And we thought it was us. It's not. It's them. And they've done this to everyone. And and we were just next on the list. And mm -hmm. so it's horrific without a doubt. But we can still have fun tonight because George has a little bit of an auction and a claim to fame to go. Yeah, tonight. we're gonna we're gonna mix it up tonight. We're gonna do uh, four different auction lots, and then the rest will be claim to fame by it now sales. I'm trying to push. Um, if the this shoulder is back if out. this is your first time attending one of our live bulk sales, make sure that you are in top chat. Make sure you're on live chat, and not top chat. This is super important. That way. Myself and Jeremy, along with our moderators and everyone at home, sees the live chat happening in real time as close as possible. If you don't plan on bidding or claiming a lot this evening and you're watching from Facebook, stay where you are. However, if you plan on bidding or claiming it, make sure you hop onto the YouTube platform. Make sure you are subscribed. It is for free. That way you can participate in the live chat. Um, again, we will do a few um, auction lots and then the rest will be claim to fame by it now prices uh what we do is we sell bulk lots to you whether it's an auction format or claim to fame and then we'll explain how that works uh what we'll, what we'll do is we'll provide a buy it now price for the claim to fame uh once jeremy says the price Jack, our jackie said dogs she just wants it or jackie wants everybody to know dogs love to watch what the hails <laughs> so when you're not at home just keep what the parrots hails running do too. Remember parrots when Lisa sent us dogs the Cats, geckos. <laughs> uh, for the claim to fame, buy it now sales. Turtles Jeremy, Jeremy, and tortoises. Jeremy will provide the buy it now price on each bulk lot. The first person uh, in the chat after Flipping Adventures types in go, go, go and claims that amount. For example, if it's $100, the first person to say claim 100 or 100 or dollar sign 100 is the winner of that lot. Um, and then if we do... Uh, the lots that are auctions, Jeremy will throw up a one-minute countdown. 
And the highest bidder when our moderator flipping adventures types in sold in the live chat is the winner of that lot. If you are a winner tonight, we ask that you please send us your information as soon as possible to what the hills at Yahoo. We will display that email address on the screen once we go into the sale. We want your YouTube profile name, your real name, your mailing address, your high bid amount or your claim amount, and then the lot, the name of the lot that you won this evening. Um, and then with the claim to fame, you'll have the option to either be surprised or we can show you everything. And then if you are, if you live outside of the Uni United States, you are more than welcome to bid or to claim. We just ask that you know your country's custom laws and if there's any import fees, and then also keep in mind that there will be additional shipping costs. Those shipping costs vary anywhere between $50 and $200 based on the weight of the package, the dimensions, and where you are located in the world. Um, Again, we will display the What the Hills email address. Here, here, you want to display something? There's something Marla Hughes just put on display. <laughs> Look at Crook. Look no. At Crook. Oh, my goodness. That's horrific. And then this evening, we will send a, an invoice via PayPal. Um, you will have the option of paying that invoice using either your debit card, your bank card, your credit card or your PayPal account. Keep in mind that everything is sold as is. There's no guarantees, there's no returns. We auction the items or we sell the items off to you as we find them in the abandoned storage unit or we, wherever we source them from. At the end of the sale, we will have um, free giveaways. I'll have three lucky winners this evening based off of a trivia question that Jeremy will ask. Uh, the last I checked, we, I. I didn't get the trivia questions. Did those don't come worry. Through? I'm the one that asked the question, so you don't need to get it. Okay. The trivia question comes from the least viewed video of the week. And then the, the first three people to answer correctly in the live chat will be the winner of that free giveaway. Again, make sure you are in a live chat and not top chat. I can't tell you how important this is because a lot of you are like, I was first. Well, I was before this person, but... Every screenshot I get is that person's always in top chat. Um, keep in mind that there are YouTube glitches. We are at the mercy of those glitches. So if our moderators can't see what you're typing in the live chat or if Jeremy can't see what you're typing in the live chat, most likely it's either a YouTube glitch and it's not coming through. Um, we, that's out of our control. So if you're trying to claim something and you're typing in 100 and it's not showing up, try adding a symbol before or after the, the actual number. Um, and then also, if you have no intentions of paying this week, please do not um, participate. Please don't try and claim or bid on anything. Otherwise, you will get banned and you won't be able to participate in any future uh, live streams. So I'm going to go ahead and set up my laptop for Jeremy. You are? All right, I'm going to stop talking to fans that are messaging us a million things at once. Okay. Silent thing. All right, Michael, so I'll send it to Randy. I just saw your message. I'll send it to Randy, Michael. Silent 35, thank you so much. All right, George has got some crazy awesome lots tonight. Uh, I know because I actually helped a little bit for once. I know you think George, George never gets help from Jeremy on anything. Um, that's not exactly the way life goes, um, but typically she gets all the lots together, but I went out and um, I got some lots all set and ready for this week, some things that you guys like, such as, I think I can say this because I think they're going up for auction, stamp collections, um, because I know you guys love it. Okay. We're gonna throw George in there, and I'm gonna go over here, and I don't know why. All right, this is going okay. up for auction. All right, first first lot tonight is stamps, and it is going up for auction. Remember, everything starts at twenty five dollars for free shipping here in the United States. George is gonna start showing things. She's gonna try and show it as fast as possible, so her back doesn't hurt as much. And so these are U.S. stamps. That first sheet right there is U.S. stamps. You can start bidding immediately, $25 starting bid, free shipping here in the United States. Uh, additional shipping if you're outside the United States. Everything is as is, no guarantees, and no returns. If you're thinking, whoa, where did this stamp collection come from? I actually found it on Facebook Marketplace.
marketplace and I bought it because I know you guys absolutely love them. And so I bought it just for you guys to do whatever you want with it. It doesn't matter how much I paid, which was a lot, but you guys are worth it. So uh, there are a lot of international stamps. Those first stamps that George showed were actually uh, American stamps and are, flowers. I believe this, the rest of the pages are blank. Okay, so there's some blank pages in there. I see I see bids already. Chris is in at 30. I see Kirsten is in at 125. Diane Chase is in at 125 as well. Kirsten's high bidder right now at 125. Uh, America's Bicentennial covers. So this is, these are first day issues Bicentennial. I'm very cool. So this cool. one's dated 1976. 1976, 1976. They're all going to be 1976 because they're bicentennial. Yes, 1976. July 4th. All right, Diane Chase is now at 130. And Kathy Lane says, Jeremy, welcome to the arthritis club. It could be arthritis in my shoulder. I don't I don't know if I slept on it wrong or what. Oh, uh, Jessica says, oh. Jessica got stuck in the ditch with the mower today, and she says it's because you pushed me out. No, this was, this started a couple days ago. So it had nothing to do with pushing Jessica out. Roberto's in at 136. George is going to go a little bit faster here. Remember, this first one is an auction. Next one will be claim to fame. Then we're going to do an auction, then a claim to fame, then an auction, then claim to fame. And then you'll get that entire binder. And right now we're at 140, I believe. 140 is the high bid right now. And here are, oh, this is. These are dated uh, 1910 and 1936. These, these look like stamps over King Edward, the five, six, seven, eight, the eighth. I'm Jeremy the eighth, I am. Jeremy the eighth, I am, I am. I got stalked by the lady next door. She's been married seven times before. And I think we're at 155 right now. Roberto's up to 155 right now on the stamp collection. George is going to move a little bit quicker, a little bit quicker, a little bit quicker. And not every stamp is in this album, but there are some stamps in the album, which look pretty cool. And there are some blank spots for collecting more stamps. These look like all foreign stamps. We're at 160 now, I see. 160 right now is the high bid right now. And this is the last book in the lot of stamps. Christmas 90, uh, 70, August So George 71. is just going to do this now. And you're going to see there's stamps in there. And we're going to hit the ground running. And we're going to start bidding. Just a reminder, $25 starting bid, free shipping here in the United States, additional shipping outside of the United States. Everything is as is, no guarantees, no returns. I bought these on Facebook Marketplace because you guys love them. And I thought, you know what, let's give them the stuff they love. And I found them locally, actually an hour away, and then I went and got them and so that you could own them. And you got to bid fast, you got to bid furious because you literally only have one minute to win it. Here we go. Here we go, one minute to win it right here on the stamp lot. High bid right now is 165 with Joe. 165, everything you see, it was bought on Facebook Marketplace yesterday. I bought them yesterday, didn't I? It was, it was yesterday. I bought them yesterday. We went into Gainesville, I bought these, I got a haircut. We went to Lowe's and I got materials to fix the leaky roof in the schoolhouse. And then we went and saw the new Ghostbusters movie. And so that was fun. Just Diane's now at 162. 162 is high bid right now on the stamp lot. A lot of stamps, $25 starting bid, free shipping in the United States. High bid right now is 162 with about 20 seconds left to go. 20 seconds left to go. 162 is the high bid right now with Just Diane. Puzzle Puzzler came in at 175. 175 is the high bid right now with about 10 seconds left. Remember, you got one minute to win it, but now it's down to seven seconds. And five, four, three, two, one. Let's see what happens. Puzzle Puzzle is high bid right now at 175. 175 is a high bid going once. Wish B just came in at 200. Going once. Going twice. Sold the Wish B. And Willis Teft is back up at 180. Just got the backup bid in. All right. Wish B, here's what you're going to do. Wish B, you're going to send us your YouTube name, your real name, your shipping address, your bid amount of 200. Tell George it was the stamp lot. Okay, Number you're gonna one. send an e uh, email right here. What the hell's at yahoo.com? And George says, make sure you say it's number one. Apparently, there's gonna be more. Uh, thank you so much, D Jones, for the ten dollars and the love and the prayers. And then backup, 
back up Willis Theft at 180. You can email us as well and say, hey, I was bidding on stamp lot number one as well, and I was the backup bidder at 180. If something falls through, then you'll be good to go. You'll get it for your backup bid of 180. All right, this next lot. This next lot is not an auction. It is a claim to fame. And what I mean by that, George will start showing one item, and I'll tell you the amount that it's going to be. George will start showing one item. The very first person that puts in the number of the amount for the lot is going to be the winner, and you have the option. Do you want to be surprised, or do you want to see it all? Kind of like when we buy storage units. All right, claim to fame amount is $129. $129. $129. George is going to start showing right now, and Flippin' Adventures will say go, 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 as she just did. And the first person to say 129 will be the wiener. I'm going to go ahead and full screen George. 129. 129. Steph Garcia is right in right now. Just Diane just came in a second as well. But there is no second on claim to fame. It is Steph Garcia. Steph Garcia. Do you want to be surprised? Steph Garcia. Just a reminder, every winner tonight, you're going to email us right here, what the hell's at yahoo.com. So, you will get an auto response once Steph says she wants to see it. George, go ahead and put the whole flat in there. Just a reminder, you will, Steph, you're going to see all, you're going to receive all of this, this entire flat of Disney pins. And just a reminder, when, when you Disney email us, number one. when you email us, uh, you will get an auto response, and that's okay. George is going to send out invoices tonight. And so for this Disney pin, Steph, make sure you tell George it is Disney pin lot number one, which means, get the whole thing in the camera view now, which means there's going to be more Disney pins. So, Steph, you just won all those Disney pins. All right, I'm going to come back in. And it was Steph. I forget Steph's last name now. Garcia. Garcia. All right, Garcia. George remembers. Garcia. All right. All right, next is going to be an auction. It will be more stamps and potential supplies for stamps, I think. So just a heads up, this will be more stamps. This will be an auction, not a buy it now, which means $25 starting bid, free shipping here in the United States, additional shipping outside the United States. Everything is as is, no guarantees and no returns. And George is going to start showing. I'm going to go ahead and full screener. Just a reminder for those who have already won tonight, George will send out your invoices once you email you will get an auto response so you're going to email what the hails at yahoo.com with the information that i shared with you you'll get an auto response with frequently asked questions you can ignore that george will filter through all of the emails and she'll find your email and she'll send you out an invoice this evening and that way you can pay that invoice once you pay the invoice then george will get that all packaged up and she'll send you uh your tracking and all of that information as well uh, there, we don't even know what's in here. We bought it off of we bought it off of Facebook Marketplace yesterday, and for you guys, and we have not looked through it. We don't know what's in here. Yeah, like the ones in these types of packages, no I idea. I see mint strip things along those lines. George is going to start going faster. George is going to go much faster, a whole lot faster. Look at that. That was a minty one right there. I mean, there's who knows what's in here. Kirsten's up to 150 already. She hasn't even seen the whole lot. So. But George is going to move faster. She's not going to show you every stamp. We didn't look at every stamp. You're going to, you, we know they, when we bought them, they said that a lot of the stamps were from around the world. And they also told us there was $100 in face value U.S. stamps that could still be used. Now, whether that's in one of the lots, lot one, lot two, I have no idea. I'm just telling you what they shared with us. And, and I bought them because you guys love them. I literally just I got them because you guys love them, and it wasn't it wasn't for us to look through. It was for you guys because you love them, and if we can find stuff that you guys love, then we love passing it on to you. Kirsten says 170 right now, and Debbie Children says fell. nice I'm ready collection. For the, uh, timer. All right, George says she's ready for the timer. There was a whole bunch in that thing. So just be ready. Remember, $25 starting bid, free shipping here in the United States, additional shipping outside the United States. Everything is as is, no guarantees and no returns. High bid right now is Kirsten at 170. You got to bid fast. You got to bid furious because you got one minute to win it. And so Frida just said, Mark Feather. 
All right, Bob's now in 175, 175 is live bid, and George is looking at this nice little book with a whole bunch of cool stuff in it. Bob's high bidder right now at 175 with 40 seconds left to go. Bob's high bidder right now with about 35 seconds left to go. There's there's a ton of different stamps. Remember, these are international stamps as well. You may have some U.S. stamps in here, but these are this is a stamp collection from around the world. So let just just know that this is stuff from oh was that Olympics? Barcelona. Olympics. Barcelona Olympics stamps. That's cool. All right, high bid right now is Bob still with 175. Puzzle puzzler came in at 185. 185 is high bid right now. 185 with about five seconds left to go. And three, two, one. Bam! Let's see what happens. Puzzle Puzzle is in 185. 185 going once. 185 going twice. 185. Whoa! Puzzle Puzzle just came in at 190. But you cannot bid against yourself, which means Puzzle Puzzler, your high bidder at 185. 185. Kirsten just missed it with the 190 as well. So it is Puzzle Puzzler at 185. And Puzzle Puzzler, you know exactly what to do. You've purchased before. So you know you're at you're, you're going to send us all that information. Back up is Bob at 175. So he, just a reminder for everybody, if you win tonight, you're going to send us your YouTube name, your real name, your shipping address, your bid amount. So for Puzzle Puzzler, it would be, uh, it would be 185. For Bob, who's the backup, it'd be 175. And you're going to tell George it's stamp lot number two. Stamp lot number two, which is not the last stamp lot. I just looked. I just looked. It's it's not it's not the last stamp lot. But we're gonna move on from an auction now to a claim to fame. Which, if you remember what the last claim to fame was, she said it was number one, which typically means number two follows that claim to fame. She's got a lot of number ones and twos and threes in here tonight. So claim to fame amount tonight for this lot is $137, $137. I'm gonna go ahead and give George solo layout. Once Flip It Adventure says go, 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 which she just did, George is gonna start showing. It looks like Disney pins. Oh, Just Diane just got it right there, 137, 137. Now we just need to know, does Just Diane just want to be surprised? Just Diane, does she just want to be surprised? All right, let's see what Just Diane says. Let's see what Just Diane says. Do you think it's Just Diana, or is it Just Diane? No, I can't see that. Uh, it could be. She says, show, show, show. All right, Just Diane, we're going to go ahead. George is going to show you the full flat right here. You just won an entire flat of Disney pins. Looks like Minnie, Mickey, some from maybe potentially around. Oh, the blue line. Oh, St. Patrick's Day, Halloween. Cool. Oh, there's a Mickey, Mickey, uh, Great Pumpkin. You're getting a whole lot of Disney here. Super cool. Oh, there's a Bengal Tiger, a Zebra. Ireland, I think uh, that's Ireland. I forget which country this is. Which reminds me, um, I am 12.5% Irish, and I got no kisses on St. Patrick's Day. Go figure. All right, but that's okay. Um, I didn't even get 12.5% of a kiss on St. Patrick's Day. All right, next one is going to be an auction again, which is lot number three of the same auctions. It is going to be stamps. So keep in mind, we're back at the auction. $25 starting bid, free shipping here in the United States, additional shipping outside the United States. I think this, before you start bidding, I think this is a lot of supplies. It's half and half. All right, so half of it is supplies for your stamp collection, so and half of it is stamps, okay? And there's books. So let me, let me go ahead and full screen George here. Remember, this one is an auction. So half of this is supplies for your stamp collection. So you'll collection. have the individual stamp collection sheets. There's a box of these. Uh, most of them are sealed. Some are. Oh, Kathy Lane just gave me a kiss for the forehead. Thank you. Deborah gave me a kiss as well. M Deborah McLeod. You'll get this. You know she's Irish. All right, so that is a box of supplies for your stamp collection. Now we're going to get into the actual stamps, and it looks like and there's three or four are different from books. different countries, and they're all labeled. They're labeled by the countries. Like Europe, Austri Austria, Belgium, Bulgaria. 
So these are the stamps. John's high bidder right now at 75. These are international stamps labeled by the country years of putting this collection together and so you've got supplies for your stamp collection and you have stamps from around the world but wait there's more john is still these these two books day roll says come on give me some turtle stamps Africa, where are the turtle stamps I don't, there Congo, may there's kitty cat stamps there could be turtle Tanzania. stamps how crazy would that be if there's turtle stamps in there i'm sure there give is give me psds I'm sure there is. 85 now with John Naylor. All right, we've got there Virgin probably is, Islands, there could be a turtle. Panama, in there Mexico. Maybe a sea turtle in Cayman one of these Islands, countries. Cayman Islands, Canada, Bermuda, Barbados, Antigua. I could see a sea turtle with with the islands. Okay, remember you're getting half supplies for your books. And then you're getting stamps as well. Antarctica, I bid right now. New I believe it's Kirsten Fiji. at 95. Kirsten at Australia. 95. No sea turtles in Australia? I don't know. I'm not really. John is now at 97. Thailand, Singapore, Mongolia, they are Malaysia, from around Korea, the world. India, Hong Kong, China. Some look like they've been Cambodia. They've been, they've been stamped on top. Some look like they're they're not. They're like brand new, never yeah. used. Some look used, some look not used. High bid right now is John at 97. Now Roberto just came in at 101. South America, Argentina. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh I, I saw a kumquat, but no turtle. No turtle yet. And then you'll get two. Count them. Two. Two of those. Ballerina. And more stamps. Just are those U.S. stamps? Or are those? Sorted, yeah, I see Disney. I just saw Disney stamps in there. Kirsten's high bid right now at 105, I think. Yep, 105. There's some Snoopy. Yep, these are U.S. stamps here. I just saw Bugs Bunny. I just saw... Yeah, these are U.S. stamps. Wood Duck. No turtles. Yeah, thankfully, no turtles yet. All right. All right, and then there's, a, there's another one, right? Nope. Okay. All right, so high bid right now is Kirsten at 105. Just a reminder to everybody, $25 starting bid, free shipping here in the United States, additional shipping outside of the United States. Everything is as is, no guarantees and no returns. You got to bid fast. You got to bid furious because you literally only have one minute to win it. Let's do this. I think Kirsten's still high bidder right now. Kirsten is still high bidder right now with Flippin' Adventures saying, Trivia, United Arab Emities, the UAE, and Uridia don't use stamps. I don't even, didn't know that. Didn't know that at all. Debbie says she saw turtle stamps. Roberto's high bidder right now at 115. John came in at 106. Roberto's in at 115. 115 with about 35 seconds left to go. 115 is high bid right now. Puzz Puzzler came in at 100. Wait, no, just came in at 12. Well under the 25, but I think that was a typo. I'm sure the Puzzle Puzzler's got plenty of time to get back in with about 20 seconds right now. Roberto's high bidder right now. Yvette, thank you so much for the 10 Canadian dollars. And um, I will think about giving George a big hug. We're not like that. All right. Thank you so much, Yvette. Yvette wants to, me to give you a hug. Should we hug? She says no. Yvette, she says no. We're not like that. We're in the middle of an auction. We're, she says we're in no PDA. We're in the middle of an auction. Looks like, oh, man, I got lost in the whole hug conversation. Who won? I don't even know who won. Might be James. Is it the uh, half center? Is it what? A half center. I have never seen a half center Me before. Neither. Oh my goodness. I've seen one center. Oh my good. Okay, all right, all right. Who won? Okay. All right, so I think it's Wish We at 130. Am I right? Am I? No, wait. I see Wish Be after the sold. All right, let me. I. I it's James at 125. No, I see, I see Wish Be after the sold, Roman Noodles. Yeah. James B. Moore. Okay, so it's James. James at 125. All right, so James, you're high bidder at 125. And here's what you're going to do. Here's what you're going to do is you're going to send us your YouTube name, your real name, your shipping address, your high bid amount of 125. Tell George it was for stamp lot number three. Mary Franklin, thank you so much. Oh, Mary's birthday is on Tuesday, just two Happy days away. Early birthday. Happy birthday, Mary. Early birthday. 
And then backup bidder was, I got so lost in all of it with the whole hug conversation. It's Roberto. Roberto, your backup bidder. And you can email George all that information as well right there with hails at yahoo.com. Or maybe it's at yahoo.com. All right. We got another lot here tonight. It is a claim to fame. Claim to fame. All right, backup's Kirsten at 128. I'm screwing everything up. If you're the winner, email us. If you're the backup winner, email us. We'll figure it out. Okay, and moderators know what's best. I'll, I'll watch the screen this time. All right, this is a lot for $151 claim to fame. Once, once Flippin' Adventure says go, 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 George is going to show, show, show. 151 is the 151 is the claim to fame and Flippin' Adventures just said go, go, go. Go, go, go. Frankie H just came in at 150, but it's 151. Steph Garcia came in at 151. Steph Garcia, you are the wiener. Wow. All right, Steph Garcia. Do you want to be surprised? Do you want to be surprised, Steph Garcia? All right, David Taylor just became a super fan. Thank you so much. And we're going to see if Steph Garcia wants to be surprised, which I think Steph Garcia figured out. This is a comic book lot. This is a comic book lot. And Ruth Ann says there's delays. If you're if you're having delays, then make sure you refresh. And Steph says she wants to see CC. And so, see, refresh and make sure you're in live chat. All right, Georgia's going to go fast. You're going to get an entire box, a priority box of comics. And so Steph Garcia, she's going to flip through them quick here. And then we're going to get to our next lot. Oh, interesting. Which is not a comic book lot. The next lot is not a comic book lot. So we have not looked up this any of these comic books. This is the last of the comics from that one unit. This came from the Jacksonville uh, you unit. you guys remember Jerry, you bought yeah, it. When, when Jerry, auctioneer Jerry goes, you bought it. And so, oh, did I just see Flash Gordon? I thought I saw Flash Gordon. Some of these have yes, the flashing. dust, the dust protector. Now Jessica's and the throwing Mountain Dew and Ooh, root beers in my here's face. Here's a twenty center. There's a twenty. Oh, Spider-Man and Thor twenty center. Oh my goodness. Tank How girl. cool is that? Okay, Steph Garcia got this whole lot of comics. This came from a storage unit in Jacksonville, maybe a month. No, it was probably well, a month ago, right? It. it was probably a month ago. It's where we found the scooter. Oh, the death of Superman. The, yeah, the Punisher. white, the white Vespa scooter. Oh, man. Man, the Flash. Man, there's so many good ones in here. There really is. Which, uh, I have to admit, I did buy some comics yesterday, but they were Garbage Pail Kid comics. All right, and that completes the lot of the comic books. All right, there you go, Steph. That is your comic book lot. We're going to email George right here. All the winners are going to email George right here, whatthehales at yahoo.com. And then once you get your email, which we prefer as soon as possible, George will get your invoices to you tonight. Tonight. Tonight, okay? Tonight. We are this young. This one entails four. All right, there are four, four total flats in this one. So... It is a claim to fame. The amount is 123 in the claim to fame. George is telling me there's four flats. And once Flippin' Adventure says go, go, go. Oh, I did it too soon. Why? You can start whenever you want. Oh, there's a stamp inside. Oh, you bonus stamp inside. Flippin' Adventures did say go, go, go. Claim to fame is 123. 123. I'm not sure I gave out the claim to fame number yet. 123 is the claim to fame. And George is going to start. And it's Kirsten. And then at 123. Kirsten. Kirsten, there are four total flats. Kirsten, do you want to be surprised? Kirsten. Do you think I'm saying Kirsten's name right? Kirsten. 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 I think it's Kirsten. It is Kirsten. But, you know, I can't say Dow either, so... You know, that's the, just the way it goes sometimes. You have an accent. I have a northern accent. Yes, I do. I have a northern accent. Kirsten. I think Kirsten wants to be... I don't know if she wants to be surprised. I haven't seen it yet. 
But Sandra just sent $10. Happy early birthday. Thank you so much, Sandra. Uh, Flippin' Adventure said she would never go, go, go without the amount being revealed. Well, apparently I did. She says, surprise, you know. Okay. All right, Kirsten, you're All getting... Right. You're getting a whole bunch of, well, I'm just going to tell you, you're getting a whole bunch of superhero, different themed, from Harley There's Quinn Harley to Quinn. Superman to Batman to, you're getting a bunch of stuff. A bunch, there's going to be a lot of it. The Joker. And the Joker. I'm sorry, there's something, it keeps popping. I apologize. Uh, I know that's not good for camera, but my shoulder keeps popping. All right. You have to ask me or Dan, because he dealt with shoulder issues. Well, they're telling me to stretch, pull it, pull my arm, go behind my back and pull up gently, 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 <laughs> gently, 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 gently. <laughs> that did not work. Okay. All right. This is our last auction. We have more claim to fame amounts, but this is our last auction tonight. These are all going together? Yep. All right, so you're going to get Pez, a Pez collection, and a Suncatcher collection. I found this on Facebook Marketplace as well. Did you add anything from storage units? No. I was trying to tell you exactly where everything came from. I actually found these on um, on Facebook Marketplace. This is an entire shoebox. And I bought them on my way to the Tampa airport when I flew back to Ohio this past week. And I thought, oh my goodness, you guys would love this stuff. So this is an auction, $25 starting bid, free shipping here in the United States, additional shipping outside the United States. And so this is an entire shoe box of Pez, but there's more there's than more. that as well. And so so this it's going to be a surprise because I haven't even looked inside. We don't know. We don't know. I just, I picked them up and I thought you guys would have fun with them. And I know a lot of you are resellers. And so $25 starting bid, free shipping here. Flippin' Adventure said, Gonzo! Um, what are these called? Those are these called are the... sun catchers. Did I see a pineapple in there? I thought they were dancer dash. I thought they were called sun, sun catchers. Dashers. I thought they were I thought they were I don't know what they are. So what they are, they take They're the shaking. silver and then they dance for you. Man. They dance. If life was just that easy, if I could get if I could get somebody to dance for me. Not like that. Solar dancers? Definitely not like <laughs> If I could just get somebody to dance for me. Anybody but like that. Thank you, Jessica. Jessica's oh, like headed home. Pineapple. All right, so this is a Pez lot and Sun Dancers. Sun Dancers. Kathy says it's Sun Dancers. Yeah. Uh, Susan says it's Dash Dancer. They could be, yeah, Dash Dancers. And Eddie says. 8.6k watching if everyone sent just one dollar to the gofundme thank you eddie we appreciate that we truly do looks like jackie is high bidder nope diane's high bidder right now all right remember this is an auction on this one diane is the high bidder right now it is the pez lot and the sun catcher or dash dancer lot on this one all right there we go you're receiving everything you just saw high bid looks like it's right now at 110 and so, we are going to, one minute to win it is what we're going to do. You got one minute to win it, 110 is high bid right now. I see all kinds of bids coming in. I think some people may need to refresh. I really do. So I'm seeing 110 with Diane, but I'm seeing like Trinity came in at 70, which is way behind. I see Chill Gon Gon Gonzalez came in at 35. Joe just came in at 90, but we're already at 110. Now we're at 120. Cherry's at 120. And I think Diane Chase is at 125. Diane Chase is at 125 now. 125 is the high bid right now with about 25 seconds left to go. This is the Pez and Suncatcher lot. Jackie's now in at 135. Jack, I wonder, does Jackie collect Pez or Suncatchers? She's an eBay seller. Oh, well, she definitely sells online. There's no doubt about that. Jackie's in at 135. Sherry came in at 130. Jackie's high bidder at 135 with about five seconds left to go. And four, three, two, one. Jackie's still high bidder at 135. Just Jackie at 135. Going once. Sherry just came in at 150. Going once. Going twice. And boom! Sold to Sherry. Boom. Boom field. Wow. Sherry just got that in. People are saying that YouTube is being really finicky tonight. Yeah. 
I believe it. Sherry that. Bloomfield, I believe it. Okay, Sherry, you are getting that entire Pez lot and that entire Suncatcher lot. And uh, make sure you send George all the info. That was 150, right? I think. I'm pretty sure. And TB Dallas sent $9.99. How's the lawyer getting paid and continue to get paid for her federal court? She doesn't have a lawyer for federal court to answer that question. Uh, but he may be lagging in that. So, Sherry, you know what to do. You're going to send your YouTube name, your real name, your shipping address, your bid amount 150 Tell George it was the Pez lot. And the next lot up is Claim to Fame. We haven't done one of these in a while. Make sure you understand that none of these are tested. None of them. As a matter of fact, most are going to be broken. So I, I don't, I, what I don't want to do, because some of you jump on the claim to fame amount so fast before you even see, and I don't want anybody upset, okay? And so when I give you the claim of fame amount, which is $101, understand that none of them have been tested. Most are probably broken. $101. And George is going to start showing. And Flippin' Adventures just Ooh. said, go, go, go. Well, George just put the whole thing in there. Sorry. She don't mess around. I guess you're going to get to see everything. So this one's in decent shape. It's an iPhone. Uh, Niche Lady we says she was getting glitches tonight as well. There's sometimes YouTube just glitches like crazy. $101 is the claim to fame amount here tonight for this. Remember, none of these have been, none of these have been tested. Kirsten just came in at 101. And I'm just going to say slide it under there again because you already did. Kirsten, I know you're going to want to be surprised, but you're getting this entire, I don't know, what do you think? There's 100 or more cell phones in there from Apple to it's like, Samsung? It's assorted. It's assorted. Okay. It's like 20 pounds of phones. So Kirsten typically says says surprise me i'm gonna go ahead and and you're getting everything that's in here you're not, you're not getting glasses good thing aunt patty sent new tags okay so you're getting everything that's in here kirsten and it will be a surprise all right and kirsten you know exactly what to do uh you're going to you're going to send your youtube name your real name your shipping address and your claim to fame of 101 and tell George it was the cell phone lot, the cell phone lot, which again, we don't test any and you can sell them for parts. We've had, we've had lots of people buy them. Uh, one of our, one of our buyers for cell phones loves buying them. He has an autistic son and his son loves to take them apart for parts and rebuild them and the whole deal. And he loves buying them. And we get them all from storage units, obviously. All right, this next lot is a claim to fame of $98. $98. $98 is the claim to fame on this lot. And there is one, two, three flats worth. But George is going to show a thing at a time. All right, here we go. What is that? That definitely looks like a keychain. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Tracy Rice is already in at 98. Just like that. Niche Lady came in at 98 as well. They didn't mess around. All right. Tracy Rice, you are the wiener. Everybody's coming in now. They didn't even get to see anything. But there are three flats worse. So Tracy Rice, do you want to be surprised? Tracy Rice, do you want to be surprised? And just so you know, there are three flats worth, Tracy. And if you probably already figured it out, they are keychains, and keychains are extremely collectible, and they sell really well. Uh, Jody, thank you so much for the birthday wish and another another kiss from the Irish. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. All right, let's see. Tracy, does she want to be surprised? Tracy says, show the first flat. All right, so Tracy says, show the pick one flat, George, whichever one you I want. I just realized something. Isn't this where we ate with Niche Lady? Uh, put it all the. That is, oh my goodness! Is that where she took us. It's not focused. You need to drop. You're definitely not focused. Niche lady took us there. Niche lady, you took us there, right? I'm almost positive that's where we went. Mm -hmm. And Steph Garcia says, "Hey, Tracy is a male." Okay, well, Tracy, if you are a male, I apologize, but you will be receiving three flats 
Actually, just, just for the fun of it, just throw that one on top. And it's just a really quick... It's all... Oh, we went to capos. Capos. Okay. So you're going to receive all of that, Tracy. So three flats of keychains will be coming to you. Tracy, you're going to send us your YouTube name, your real name, your shipping address, your claim to fame amount of 98, and tell George it was the assorted keychains. All right, $99 on this one. 99 99 And they have not been tested, but they have been uh, confirmed that they're all in the case. Once Flippin' Adventure says go, 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 which she probably already did, it's $99. She did. She said go, go, go. And you might have figured it out already based on the first thing. And boom, Linda Evers is in it like she wanted to win it. Linda Evers wins it. Linda, do you want to be surprised? And, and if you're going, if you're going, Linda, 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 uh, you're going to receive this entire box of DVDs, everything in here. And so, Linda, do you want to be, she says, show me, please. So George is going to show you everything real quick. Linda. And there's a lot of horror if you're into horror scary is, movies. is a huge following, huge, huge, huge following. This was from the Jacksonville unit, too, right? Because mm -hmm. they were into all the horror. Yeah, they they were into so much horror, which George and I, independently of each other, I never watch horror. George never watched horror. Although she did put on like some New York homicide, homicide stuff last night. I like, like, and I was like, uh, what are you doing? And within 30 seconds, she was asleep while I was working. You told me to pick something, so I picked something. So I was like, so I did. I told her, I was like, just pick something, whatever you want in the background, and while I work. And then within 30 seconds, she's asleep, and they're talking about murders. And I'm going, not she's my thing. In New York. Still not my thing. Don't want it to happen in Otter Creek either. And so, a little too close to home, being stalked and harassed constantly. So, uh, but horror videos, VHS, like the highest reselling VHS typically is horror. And it has a, a huge following. And that the same goes with DVDs. I've never been into it. It's not my thing. Uh, George has never been. How did Rambo get into the horror? I am into Rambo and Blade. They're not, it's not all horror, horror. And so, and Pretty Woman. And, um, and Mobsters. It's not all horror is what I said. I don't I remember said. Mr. Brooks. I, I remember the name of the movie. I don't remember watching it, though. I, although I'm sure I did. But, um, yeah, I'm not, you either love horror or you hate horror, one or the other. But the thing is, it's the highest reselling movies out there. Like, it, it is, it's crazy. I mean, it's mind-boggling with an old horror VHS we'll go for. All right, one on more eBay. lot before the free lot. All right, this is the last claim to fame before we get some free lots to give away here tonight. And um, just keep in mind, I don't know what to say about this. It's Keep in mind, it could be anything before... before you start bidding, keep in mind it could be anything, and the claim to fame is $113. $113 here tonight. $113 tonight on this claim to fame. This is our last claim to fame before we give out some free prizes. And James McDonald goes, I'm too slow. No, you're not too slow. Oh my goodness, the luck of the Irish. Ha! Me lucky charms. Is that an XL? That is an XL. John Smith's already in it. John Smith is all over it at 113. Kirsten just came in at 113. John, do you want to be surprised? John Smith came in at 113. And um, I'm going to I'm gonna try and do this one-armed because my shoulder is out of place. You're going to receive this entire tote of clothing. There's... Levi jeans in there. There's jeans. Jeans sell really well. John says surprise. You're getting that entire tote, John. So just a reminder for all the winners tonight, you're going to send us your YouTube name, real name, shipping address, your bid amount, or your claim to fame amount. And you're going to tell George what you actually won. And so for John, you're going to tell her you won the assorted clothing and jeans, okay? And then backup bidders, you can, you can actually get us some information as well if you'd like. 
And if something falls through, don't you worry. You get it for your backup bid amount. And ba bam we'll get George back in here. Man, how cool was it? We had Mark Feather with us. Famous and lawyer. Seven. And seven. Seven Feather. was popular. Seven is is probably the most popular. A lot feather. of a lot of people at home notice Feather right away. <laughs> I believe it. I believe it. I believe like, it. who's the doggo? Who is the doggo? I believe it. I think you meant noticed seven. You said notice Feather, but notice oh, seven. Oh, seven. Yes. Remember, English is our second language. I have dyslexic moments sometimes. It happens. Mickey Mouse it just happens. said, loved watching everything tonight. You two are in my prayers every day. We need them. Thank you so much, Mickey Mouse. Thank you. We really do. So uh, just a reminder, you're all going to send George a email. You're going to even the winners tonight are going to send George an email. And then that way we can get you out your your winnings. <laughs> And George will send invoices tonight. He, Danny, Jeremy came this close to, to going to Vegas just to pick up a toy. Who? who oh, for, <laughs> are you telling Danny? Yeah. Yeah. So. She said you guys need a Las Vegas vacation. So what I did is I had somebody else pick up the toy. And yes, it was Garbage Pail Kids. And so, so there was, there was a Garbage Pail Kid conference this past weekend in Vegas. And and they were selling an item that they were only giving away to the participants in at the conference. And I'm in some garbage pail kid groups and I asked somebody to, to pick it up for me and then they're shipping it to me. <laughs> so maybe Flippin' Adventure says too bad Mark didn't name his dog fifteen. Maybe we can give her the middle name of fifteen. That would have been great. <laughs> So while Jeremy decides which trivia question he's going to ask tonight, I will show the prizes. It's the exact same three thing for for the first three people to answer the trivia question correctly. They're cute little mini E.T. bobbleheads. E.T. phone home. These are brand new, still in the box. Is that the 40th year? It says 40 on there. But I do have three of them. First three people to answer correctly win a free giveaway. Make sure you are in live chat and not top chat. Okay. We're gonna go with question number three. Okay. I don't think she saw it. See it? Okay. All right. Boy, what a week of videos we got to hear from the child's biological aunts we got to see ohio court and see it reenacted i guess we got to hear ohio court see yes. it reenacted puppet shows just like when we were kids that's a ton of fun i think mo more people enjoyed the toys versus the puppet. you know what the toys was a last minute decision filming on my own. How in the world am I going to do this? And it appears that the uh, the lack of professionalism is favored over the 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 professional look in court. So I guess I got it right the first time and screwed it up the second time. But here's what I want to know. A lot of information coming out about Lynette and Crook and exposing truth. And that's the reality. They want to hide and manipulate and <laughs> twist and turn the truth. And we're exposing it. We're making sure there's accountability. And we're making sure that we're protected. Without the truth being out there, our protection lacks. And so we're going to continue to share the truth. And we're going to continue to expose so other people aren't taken by them or scammed by them or conned by them. Now, we know there have been tr quite a few rug addicts on the property. There's no doubt whatsoever. Mm -hmm. By her own admittance, by her own text messages to many people. Well, her public post. Don't forget the public post. Okay. As well. It's all public. Even though that's my private page. No, it was public. It's public. If it's online, it's public. But... We want to know what was stolen. What was the stolen item that one of the last rug addicts left on the turd property? It was the one of the last rug addicts that we know about and shared with you? They had a stolen item. What Thank was you, left Sarah. on the property? Do 
you think that's a, is that an easy question? Well, I see people answering and the answers are coming in. I'm going to write down the answers so that, uh, will you accept that answer? Keep your guesses coming. I've got, I believe I have my three winners. I'm writing it down so that I don't lose their names in the chat. Because the chat goes by so fast. Sometimes YouTube won't let me go all the way back for whatever reason. So the first person that answered the question correctly that I could see on my end in live chat and not top chat with the correct answer of camper is Don Wittenhagen. Congratulations, Don. You know what to do. Email me at what the hails at Yahoo. Let me know you are the wiener of tonight's giveaway. The second person, a lot of you answered trailer and it's so close. You're so close, but we're looking for the answer camper. Has the, to be the terminology that we used in the actual video. Yes. The second person to answer the trivia question correctly with camper is body cam off. Congratulations. Make sure you email me at what the hills at Yahoo. And the third person to answer the trivia question correctly with the answer of camper is Candace Bingham. Congratulations, you three. Make sure you email me at whatthehills at yahoo.com. Let me know you are the wiener of tonight's trivia. Include your full name, your mailing address, and um, you all get the same prizes. Well, we moved into a town, no one around, all to get away from the snow. Put in a two inch line, everything was fine. Till they tried to steal all my dough. Thank you everyone for tuning in. Hope you had fun and you'll come again next Sunday. Mary was in town hall, couldn't do math at all. Just kept calling the law. Sending emails to Worm, hoping he confirm. No one would know all her flaws. We try and release a pre recorded video to you every day at 5 30 p.m. Eastern Standard, and then we go live every Sunday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard. Lionette and John running their con, trying to get any money they can. Everything around them dies, and then she fake cries. They'll end up by a river in a van. I want to send out a special thank you to all of our moderators. We appreciate you for helping us with the live chat in the evenings. Now there's signs all over town, but now they're taken down. And everybody knows who done it. Don't do the crime if you can't do the time. You're living in a shed with no permit. We appreciate everyone that sent super chats and super stickers tonight. We appreciate you so much. Russ is texting Don, telling him it's on. Let's give the world a show. We always wanted fame, and now they know our name. In the meetings, always vote no. Thank you to everyone that sent fan mail. We love opening up your gifts and hearing from you. They're all making threats. The fans are taking bets. Who's going to be the first in jail? Mary, Russell, Don, Lynette, and John. We just know it won't be. What the heck? Thank you to everyone that became a member this evening, everyone that upgraded their memberships, and everyone that gifted memberships. Make sure to thank the person that gifted you a membership. It happens randomly through your team. No one around. We just know it won't be what the heck. Say goodnight, Jeremy. Good night, Jeremy. Good night, everyone.